of Super Show. It is Monday, August the 3rd, 2020. I, as always, uh, you know, here we are. Golf. <laughs> it's golf. Dan's really got you tilted, eh? He, he Dan, got me tilted out of my door up. today. It's Apollo. He banned you. It's Josh. It's Malf. You know what Ooh. I think? You know what I think would be a fun uh, joke? Knock knock. No. no, no, no. It's not a knock knock joke. It's more cerebral than that. Um, what if you went to Best Buy and then bought the worst buy when when one of the staff I used members, to work at Best Buy when one of the staff members came up to you and was like, "Hey, is there anything I can help you with?" You said. Uh, Hey, nice outfit. Did you just get back from the Lynx? Mine was funnier. <clears throat> I don't think it was. I think it was easier to digest, which is good for the, the Twitch audience at large, but I think mine was a little bit more cerebral and, and meritous. Uh, more cereal, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you pour some milk in it. <laughs> I mean, you could buy the worst buy at Best Buy if you wanted to. You know what? what do you think literally anything in Best Buy. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, it's pretty much anything that you could get on Amazon for you know eighty five percent of the price. Spending like a hundred bucks to have them remove your viruses for you. <laughs> There's sixty that's... bucks to set up your PS4 for you. Yeah, yeah, that might be the worst buy unless like you're an old lady who doesn't know how to do it, or an old yeah, man who doesn't know how to come do on. it. Don't or they just like old. also? Or if you're young and you don't know how to do it. Don't they also install like their own crap when they're removing the viruses? Oh, do they? Well, they do. You never they know. know. I mean, but, like they're pretty shitty, but so they might. I'll never forget the story of when I went to, and they're owned by Best Buy now. But when I went to Future Shop as a twelve-year-old, I bought a printer for nineteen dollars, just because. I mean, how can you pass up on that deal? But then the printer didn't come with a USB cable, so I went or back eight. to Future Shop. And I was like, I need a USB cable for my printer. And they were like, well, you could get this one. It's like 15 bucks. Or you could get this one for 50 bucks and it's gold plated. So like the Ooh. data gets transferred like with that much more fidelity. And he suckered me into buying it. And I was 12 years old. Like that should be illegal to use that kind of salesmanship technique on a, on a little kid. No. <laughs> Tell that to EA. Oh snap, he's yeah. going there. Oh snap. He's going there. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I boomed them. I boomed that billion, multi billion dollar company. He's boomed it. Ryan, did you boom it yet today? Uh twice actually. <laughs> We're trying to figure out if we ate something funky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gross. He asked. It's just gross. But anyway. You worked at Best Buy, course, right? By the way. Oh, I worked there for like three weeks. What's the shortest job you've ever had? Is it then? Best Buy. I worked three at weeks. Goodwill for six weeks. Whoa, that's pretty good. Short tenure. It, it sucked. Did what was? Did you have to? Were you the 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 catcher or the thrower? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when when I was at the job or during my free time? <laughs> Yes. Um, I uh, I was one of the, rarely was I called upon to unload like a truck of stuff. Um, but I did like unbox the stuff that people donated to Goodwill, and it's horrible. Mm, yeah, that I feel like that would be like the thing that I don't want to do. I don't want to unbox. You know, I, I do, I'll put shit out there, but I don't want to box it up. I do have to say, I was a uh, I was a mover for a day, but I don't really count it because it was. Uh, it was through a temp agency. Mm. So I was, a, I was a mover for a day, but I was a temp for a little longer than that. This is looking decent and then some. Oh my God. Y'all? Y'all? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that, I, we're just turning the game on. Right. 12 footer here. Oh! oh! Dude, that was even better than mine. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Purples. Um, I see oh, it. Oh, come on. Derply, derply. I think he's off target. Now, if I paused <laughs> my chip Stay for this. on target. <laughs> wow. So everyone wants a wasp update. There is no update except we Yellow confirmed jacket. that they are wasps nesting outside uh, of our house. And uh, nobody would come to kill nice or time. remove them today because it's a long weekend. So we got to wait till tomorrow. 
what, yourself, what's, bro. what's this Monday for you? Well, why the long weekend? <laughs> bank holiday? It's a uh, BC day, aka um, bees. <laughs> it's it, well, the last two days have been CB's day for me. <laughs> I got hey. a conscious belly to get rid of these you sons of guns. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna send you all squad stream invites, which okay, I neglected two, slash forgot to do before. Two, two, My two, mistake. Two. Um, but yeah, basically, there's a whole bunch of wasps. Either, there's like I don't know, maybe like without exaggerating, five wasps per second. Both just, leave. Just spray them. Yeah, but I'm like, I, I really want to get a professional to do it because it's we, the same five wasps, though. It's not the same five wasps. Yeah, I just let go in and out. <laughs> the idiot doesn't know that it's more than that. It's only five. I want to get a professional to do it because we live in an area with like other people and foot traffic. So I don't want to like screw it up myself and then have a bunch oh, of like kids one. and dogs get stung and then be held liable. But if you spray them, they die. Yeah, I, I mean, I spray it myself okay, personally. You can get a you're, can of fire. You're welcome to come I, I, over I, here. I and sprayed use... a wasp nest when I was like nine years you old. You live in Texas. Your closest neighbor is probably like 300 kilometers away from you. And Plus, nobody's walking outside. <laughs> everybody, everybody owns pickup trucks. We did have a pickup. Truck. I think this one's going for it. Did you drive your Chevy to the lobby, but the <laughs> lobby was dry. Nice. I already I told Kate. I told Kate in the in the country. You would just either leave, and this is sincere, you would leave the wasp's nest there and just be like, hey, yes. watch out, there's wasps there. Or you would go outside, you put on like a long sleeve shirt, and you just hit the nest with a hockey stick and then run away. No, no. you get the spray, and then you just spray you the just spray it. Just spray it. Hitting it is the dumbest thing. That's Yeah, why would stung. you do that, you weird You don't man. think you can you outrun it. wasps? No! Abs no, they fly, I you lunatic! Chad, Chad, My grade Chad. 5 teacher almost died. He got stung by 25 bees because he, he, he it was disturbed actually the, it was one. Like, it you was can't outrun bees, those mofos. Just five times each. Are Dude, you telling me that you could outrun wasps and bees? I believe that I can outrun a wasp. And I honestly don't think it would be close. A bird? No. A bird would smoke my ass. A wasp? Absolutely. Chad, look up the speed that a wasp flies, please. Ryan, how fast can you run? I would say a, an uncomfortable okay, sprinting pace would probably be 20, 20 kilometers an hour for a short burst. How many miles per hour? That would be, I don't know, like 14. Okay, Just you would you you lose by 10 office, miles an hour. Yeah, but we're not running for an hour. You can run like that's, maybe that's, that's, that's how speed hour. works. Shut All up. It, look, no, just listen, because you got a hockey stick. A hockey stick is like five feet long. You smash it, and then you drop the stick and sprint, so you get a big head start. Ryan, they're running you almost do double big your head. speed. And all you got to do is get into the door. Hey. All you got to do is get into the... Dude, honestly, I would I would take that race right now. Also, I'm skeptical. I think they that's the fastest wasp that they've hey, you ever know tested. The this Somebody send Ryan a GoPro. He's going to put it on his head, and then he's gone. Are you okay? Are you what, okay? what happened? Did he yeah, fall down he, a well? He did. You <laughs> fell down a well in the middle of your conversation. Does my audio sound weird? It doesn't now, but while you were talking, it did. I'm pulling off the bird on this one. I think it. Did he fall again? I think he fell down the well one more time. Oh, I missed. Are you guys <laughs> memeing me, bro? No, you were going down. He climbed back. Am up. I still down? No, no, you're no, good. you're you're back up. I'll let you yeah, know when just... you fall again. Yeah, I bet, I bet now you, he's just fucking with us. I bet you they accelerate faster too, because you can't run twenty kilometers an hour instantly. You gotta rev up, dude. It would take me this guy fifty Apollo. fifty meters to get to full speed, but I'm at full speed all the time. You're yeah, full speed sharding. <laughs> <laughs> Wasps, they, they have the benefit of just falling. They can just speed up by gravity. Do you know how long it'll take a wasp to get target selection, though? Do you? I'm going to say that it'll take them two seconds to even figure out that I'm the one who fucked it up. Like, Dude, they spray the... You just hit them with a stick connecting you to their nest. I, I don't think know. It's, not it's not, they don't have, like, a, a Pentium 4 in that thing. Nice. They're, they're going to be like, I don't know what's happening. Let's... Pheromones. So all wasps don't exist in the nest at the same time. Right. Yes. So like, what Enough. are the chances that like you're gonna get sniped? You got a rogue wasp out there that's just itching to to fuck with someone who's trying to fuck with their nest. Then here comes low. Oh, Mr. Gretzky Laterno over here, just trying to bash this 
that bash their home with a hockey stick. That real I, block, he's not gonna get you. I watched you the video. The one, excuse me. You. I watched the video last night nice. of a man. He clearly was not in a good place in his life. I'm telling you, he walked up to a wasp's nest. I don't don't know what he was saying. He was saying, is this your guy or something like that? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? And then he took his bare hand and smashed the wasp's nest. And then, like, it it was getting the crap stung out of him. It's not like he he didn't even try to get away. And then he was freaking out. He was like, because I'll do it. Because I'll do it. And then he ate the wasp's nest. And spit well, it out. He ate the wasps in his hand. Yeah. It's pretty and then messed he up. Chewed them all up. And then he went to go walk on there. The man was an insane individual, he though, was, right? Like he, he was, was he was mentally something. unwell. I think that's fair to suggest. Yes. <laughs> I'm just at the point where I'm like, you got you got a camera, right? Just go go yes. take care of that wasp nest and we'll, we'll do a test. We'll we'll see for real. Well, I'll tell you, there, there is that's no what doubt. That's I was saying. Give him a GoPro and there put is, it on his fat head. There is put zero. On TikTok before Trump takes it. There is zero. It's going to get bought by Microsoft. It's probably the best thing that will ever happen for the platform uh, and me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but just I'm telling you, where the, um, where the hive, well, first off, the hive's underground. Please finish your sentence. Excuse me, sir. It's very insulting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even <laughs> even interrupting. You. Yeah, that was like six takes. Well, there were th- there were multiple things I wanted to say. One is I would definitely outrun the wasps because I can actually, in theory, yeah, hit the like nest from uh, my door. So I would just be like, thunk, and then close it. That'd be kind of a dick move to the people that, you know, might be in the neighborhood at the time. If it's that close, just spray it. You're going to waste so much money hiring a professional. It's a liability issue. I don't want to spray it and then have a bunch of wasps come out and start stinging into all the babies and stuff like that. Don't start no shit. Not won't a, be I no mean, shit. that's nature's liability. It's not you. It, it, I don't think that's true. Mm. You I'm could, a lawyer. I don't so want to be know. neighbors with you guys. I'll tell you that much. What do you? We would get it done. They wouldn't. They would not exist. What do you I, think the I professional's gonna do? Catch every wasp with a net individually? No, I don't. They're just mind. gonna spray it. I don't mind if they spray it, but it's then it's their liability if something goes wrong. Uh, that, no, you hired them. Wasps. That's not true. What's the I mean, it is true if? that I hired them, but, <laughs> but they are liable for what it. What if the case. exterminator's walking up to your, your oh, to knock on your door? Yeah. What if he just robs the whole place and then he slips? Decent little putt there. Wait, what if and then they, he breaks his <laughs> neck and then he dies? Yo. Then you're liable for his death. Is it, what are they gonna slip on? Is in the middle of summer? No, it's your true toy. That's right, dude. A wasp is like 10,000 bells, man. You gotta, you gotta Old get that shit. Six. This man has not left his house since March, and you can tell. Oh, don't be rude. It's a funny joke. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. I liked it. Thank you. I mean, wasps are actually, they're they are not that much. They don't give you 10,000 bells per Aren't wasp. Aren't tarantulas like 5,000 or something? No, tarantulas now, are 12,000? Yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah that's that's a lot. Green and, uh, Could have gone all the way. Got a the wasp. Dog, right. you, you can shake trees and get wasps for free. I, mean, if I haven't you, played Animal Crossing <laughs> in like three months. If you want some, uh, <laughs> feel free to come on by. I don't know a place where you can get uh, five uh, per second. <laughs> if you're you interested. Right. So I originally we were trying to do like the environmentally friendly thing and be like, because, you know, like Eat wasps them. are pollinators apparently as well. Not as much as oh, yeah. bees, but they're like they're essential to the ecosystem. So we called like all these environmental places uh, to get them taken care of. And they were all like, hey, is the hive like uh, above ground or below ground? I was like below ground. And they were like, oh, yeah, fuck that. We can kill them for you, though. So that's the that's the route I think we're going to have to take. But I'll, I'll keep you posted. I just... This is a $5 problem. Imagine yeah, imagine you were in the yeah, middle wait, of, uh, head. like, yeah, the Pittsburgh video. Steelers Stadium. And then you had a cup... Called f- Heinz Field. Heinz Field. Imagine you were it's in Heinz, Heinz Field. Field, named after Heinz Ward. And you had... <laughs> you opened your soda, and you realized it was full of wasps. That's Please, that's the situation. Don't relate this to what you're talking that's about. That's the situation in we're in right now. I would I would put my hand up and be like, "Hey, security, Man, please pay attention to me, because like shit's about to get time. wild here." Just, this is not text. I can't walk out and stretch my arms and be like, "Look at this, 80 acres," but I'm thinking about buying some more to put my private batting cage on. We're living in Kowloon Walled City here. Yeah, we had neighbors when we did it. We, we lived in a suburb. 
This ain't we a, a suburb, next brother. door neighbor. Yeah, we've dealt with bees before. I literally sprayed like I live just in like, like a make row sure house no one's outside. Spray, like, spray it. Dude, it like, never like, happens. <laughs> they'll die in. Are you telling me someone's outdoors at all times? I'm, like, I'm telling you. You can't like if you just if you here's, here's an idea. You go outside with the spray. There's a family of six someone, just like, went by hey, with a me. stroller and a golden retriever. I'm gonna spray for wasps. Be careful. I recommend you take the long way around. I we we don't I'm, live I know in the same. To talk to actual human. We don't live in the same area. You're literally you're like. Like doing that at the security yes. line at the airport. There's new people filtering in constantly, and there's people filtering out constantly. No. Do you no. live in a mall? Like it's it know. has what a mall esque amount of foot traffic. Can you just what? do it at night? Oh, I could do it what? at dusk, but it's still busy at dusk. No, do it at night. Don't do it I at thought, night. Yeah, wasps sleep at night. Well, they uh, they get sleep. I've read on the Google that they get sleepiest at dusk. Seven under for the round. What kind of? What are you saying to you us? You have now? different. When you live in a rural area, you got different situations. Who lives in that a rural it, area? I mean, nice I've been eagle. to Pittsburgh. I think that in Pittsburgh, if if you got stung by a wasp, people would take it as a point of pride. <laughs> Yeah, I do like that logic. They aren't fast enough to sting you, but they're apparently fast enough to terrorize your entire neighborhood. I have control over my interfacing with the wasps. The people that are walking by did not sign a contract. Yes, I know this public space has How wasp you see risk. A man of your stature outside with a fucking can, like spray, like about to spray it. This is they're insanity. Gonna like, He's gonna spray some wasps. What's the distance between like where they're walking by and where the wasps? Would like be? two centimeters. <laughs> like when we were, I was on the couch last night watching the TV. I was peering out my window watching people walk by, and I'm like, "Don't linger, cause you're gonna get fucking stung." Stop putting the in front of nouns unnecessarily. <laughs> it's very boomer. This is insane to me. The Google, the TV. <laughs> yeah, the the wasps. Well, I was watching hey. the television. Good stuff. All right, we're setting up 30 touch. feet from the hole. I don't I think you guys are going to touch. there with the spray. I'm just getting for the exterminator there. to come out. He's going to spray it. You're going to hear the whole fucking neighborhood start screaming in oh terror God. and agony. I've never Dude, heard I, I swear. Like so that. while we're talking about bees and stuff, there are three. There, I swear a menage a trois. Three bumblebees were having sex in my vine <laughs> on my balcony the other day. That's <laughs> good. I don't think the they do that. There were three. I counted. Oh, this guy's a botany they expert really, now. Well they don't Wait. have sex outside. Do bees have sex? Maybe the two were having sex and the other one was just like touching itself while watching or something. <laughs> I thought like bees only banged when it was like with the queen. Did it's you queen name it after it. yourself? And we have the ninth hole coming up. <laughs> Bro, don't hit that home. You might hit a wasp's nest, dude. I mean, it's like I'm not scared of the wasps. I would go out. You are. No, I would Sounds be like stung terrified. in no. It doesn't bother me at all. Though you've heard me talk on this show before. <laughs> the way people talk about bee stings is like they got fucking maced or sub tased or something like that. It stings for a minute, and if you're not allergic, then you're just like, all right, well, let's not do that again. But it's no nice. big deal. I what I'm scared of is being taken for all I'm worth because you know some allergic baby gets stung outside of my domicile. Probably had it coming. Is this it? Like. Like the 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 same way that I would describe this. Imagine if you had like a really slippery patch on like your front steps. Would you take care of the slippery patch in the winter time? Yes. Sweet. Yeah, of course. We wouldn't be like, well, I can't control whether or not other people are going to slip. Anybody could slip on anything. It doesn't make they could be wearing roller skates, and that's not my. You got a responsibility to take care of your property so other people don't get hurt. So salt the bees. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you just yeah, do take that? Take care of the wasps. You're delaying take it. Take right care now. of the wasps. I'm yeah, hiring you... a professional to take care of the wasps because I think that if I do it wrong, it could be more harm than like good. Hiring a professional. You're well. hiring some guy who, when he was nine years old, sprayed wasps and went, you know yeah, what? This, That's what like, I want to do well, for the rest of my life. Is, is here's what this guy is going to do he's going to come to your house. He's going to have two cones. And he's going to put one up on the one part of the sidewalk and another. He's going to walk 10 feet the other way, put another cone down. And he's going to spray the fucking wasp. Be like, job's done. He has the license to spray. Spray the wasps. I'll spray the wasp right now. Invite me. I'll do it. Actually, I can't come to your country because ours is so fucked. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> we had to call someone down, but not for a wasp. We had an entire beehive, dude. Oh, wow. Cool. Right, Why didn't you just spray like it? Fucking, it was like four feet it was tall. Free, it was big. 
It was See, it I was said, threatening I, the I, neighborhood. I here because bovines. I knew you were gonna do this. I knew you're gonna act this way. It would reflect I'd the same it. way I'd that you just dismissed and treated me. On your own. <laughs> I can't fucking believe that this man is two centimeter fucking wasp nest compared to a four foot long beehive. Well, I'm like, why would why would you even kill the bees? Because bees <gasps> right, are actually pollinators. If you don't, I'm going if for the bridge. Yeah, if you don't hit the bridge, then you're a fucking piece of shit. I'm going for it. This could be in the rough. Uh, oh, come on! It's science. Nice plunk. Ryan. I made it. Yo, put, put like two stools down to block the sidewalk so people know that you're going to be spraying. Didn't he? He told you. He already did two. <laughs> okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. Ooh. If I didn't think it would get leaked in two seconds, I would just send you a picture of the outside of my uh, house, and I think you'd be like, oh, I understand now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. This next putt for par. There's a massive trend of Ryan underestimating wildlife and <laughs> overestimating wildlife. There's a massive trend of me being uh piled upon on my own show. And maybe because your opinions are stupid. <laughs> and then and then taking it and uh, putting it in a dossier. And then after the show having to deal with a bunch of people being like, "Why was chat so rude to everybody else?" I don't understand why Chad was so rude to this person that was on the show when they spent 45 minutes talking down to my favorite streamer. Hey, I wasn't bad. I just said you sharp. <laughs> really you want to go down this? We can go down this road. I oh, no, the no, road. No, no, you no. put the gravel down. I'm just calling a paving company. Hmm. Plus, yeah. it supports local jobs. Exactly. Oh, whatever. I don't give a shit about local jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hey, using a three wood or a driver? Like how you? Um, I used the club that said it would get me closest to the, to the hole without going over. Mm, well, I went over, so okay. Change your loft, bro. Ryan. Yeah. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. Footer here. Pretty low key. I um. Saturday, I spent like four oh, hours at the couch on my in-laws' place, and then uh, when we came home, built a bunch of baby furniture. What'd you burn? What'd you? What'd you burn? What'd, what'd you build? Changing table. Changing table, crib. That's it. But those two things. Hmm. Um, what kind of crib? Is that a good crib? Nah, we figured we'd just go with, like lowest bidder. That's good. <laughs> we got it on Wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, you, I should've, put, you should've got it on Wayfair and had them put it on. Don't in. even I know what you're <laughs> insinuating, sir. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put it together. Watched some hockey yesterday, that was fun. <clears throat> watched some hockey you, on Saturday, that was fun. Uh, what you, what was you your favorite watched, meal of the weekend? You watched the hockey, you mean? <laughs> I did watch the hockey. Um, my favorite meal nice of the weekend. On well, floor. on Saturday we had some uh, we had some nice dumplings at my in-laws' place for lunch. Sounds very good. Pan-fried pork. Uh, I think they were they were more steamed oh, no. than anything else. They were they were still good though. It's fine, but I mean it, it was from a, a place that uh, didn't even have English on ah! its sign, well, so I think I would probably here. trust uh, their opinion on how to make dumplings more than yours, with all due respect. I didn't say how to make them. I'm just saying. Well, you kind of you, you kind of talked teams. down to the to the lunch that I just said was good. Listen, buddy. I mean, I did, everybody I, knows pan fried are better. It's a scientific fact. I don't know. I, I could take either. Right. I'll Can eat either, but if you give me a Almost choice, had a birdie there. Hmm. It just wasn't meant to be, I guess. What do you think, Josh? So. When they're fried, they get like that that nice crispiness on the bottom, right, which yeah. is nice. It's very nice. Um, if I had a preference, probably would be that. However, I wouldn't I wouldn't stick my nose up to you know the your your kind as well. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> that's all I ask. And then <laughs> on for dinner, 
You got, you got me thinking. This guy's eating two meals a day. Wow. <laughs> this guy's eating. <laughs> and that'll keep you at seven under. You got me round. thinking. What do we have for Sa dinner on Saturday? Sandwich? No, a I'll sandwich. Just, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll name stuff here. and then you just say what yes when I get to it. <laughs> you know okay, what? Salisbury steak. Just say uh, tortellini. Caesar salad. Ribs. Just say, love Caesar say, salad. say tortellini. Linguini. Spaghetti. Warm. Lasagna. Warm. Macaroni and cheese. Still warm. Macaroni and cheese with a little Two bit of uh, scallops on top. Uh, colder. But Macaroni and cheese <laughs> with a little bit of ground <laughs> <laughs> on top. Looks like, uh, I'd say around oh, 10 yards or so to the pin. Uh, linguini? Wait, tortellini. It's a, the, as hot as you can get. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, it was uh, tortellini, and then it had, um, like, some peppers in it. Sweet. Okay, it was a meatless meat. meal. If you're waiting oh. to hear what the meat was, it was meatless. No. So the peppers were inside of the tortellini. It was stuffed with no, that, the or the peppers were, were diced. Accompanying the tortellini was, you know, boiled as pasta is, oh, and yes. then um, what was it stuffed with? Cheese. I believe mm, it was okay. a three cheese tortellini. Oh. Um, the nice. sauce was made of shallots and sour cream, and some lemon zest, some lemon Sounds juice, good. and a bunch of garlic. Sounds very good. I gotta be honest, so we're probably not gonna switch to vegetarianism anytime soon. But mm -hmm. when I was cooking this meal, and it was done, I was like, holy shit, it's done. <laughs> you didn't have to like brown the meat it or took like, like take the temperature of the meat while It took cooking, like eight just... minutes. Yeah. I was like, if anything, it, this would just save me a lot of time to become a vegetarian. Yeah. The tortellini boils in two to three minutes. That's mm -hmm. insanity. Oh, that's it's, oh, and then yeah. it's just good to go. You just have some like vegetables thrown on okay, top of it. So that'll yep. keep you at seven. It's a badly kept round. secret. Oh, tell me about um. So the vegetables that you said you just threw on top, did you saute them at all, or they were, they were sauteed okay. and then Part you uh, you put them in the pot with the pasta after it's been drained, and then you make the sauce in the pan, and then you put the pasta and the vegetables back into the sauce. Are you uh, you use onions? Of course, yeah. You no, know why? Because they're the best vegetable. They were for this purpose better back. better than uh, potatoes for sure. Yep. Oh, I fucked it. All right, you're looking at around 100. It is a 13 mile an hour wind here. on shot one. How about you, Josh? Dude, I don't even remember what I had for dinner. Um, you didn't take a photo of it this weekend. In foods, Josh, and you say yes when I get to it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> don't do this. <laughs> I like this okay. game. Look pork. you go. What? The green pork chops? No, no pork here. chops. Mashed potatoes? No mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and gravy. I've no, I, I can't remember the last time I had mashed potatoes. Corn on the cob. I did have corn really? on the cob. Really? Dude, he's good. Let me blow your mind. Me too. Yeah? What? Mm -hmm. How'd you forget? Well, like... When we were at, I didn't know that the conversation was happening, but while we were at our in-laws place, Kate's mom kept being like, you know, eat this corn that I made, it's good. And Kate was like, I don't want it. And then she was like, you gotta eat it. And then she was like, I don't want it. And it just kind of kept escalating. But then she kind of like snuck a corn on the cob in a plastic bag to us. And when we got home, we chopped it in half and ate it. Yeah. Dude, you know what? I hate corn on the cob. I don't think it's that good. Sitting yeah, like it's oh it's so unconvenient. It's unreal. Like Wait. I would rather just have corn off the cob. Are you guys putting it on the barbecue and then after you rub the butter all over it? No, I'm not, no, 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 no. that is I'm better. Not saying corn yeah, corn is fine. If it's on the cob, just, whatever. Uh, I, yeah, I get it. As yeah. a vessel for me to consume it, on the cob is the worst case. <laughs> it gets stuck and jammed in my teeth. I don't like it. Definitely. I just fair. wish it was off the cob. I can eat it with a fork. No, fine. Or a it's kind of like the vinyl of the food world. <gasps> I did it! That's right. <laughs> I saw it's it. It's been two fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my your boy. anecdotes. I got a hole in one, baby. My boy has done it. Oh, I plunked it. Okay, let's see. I was too excited for a <laughs> Ball, what'd you do? What was your secret? I, you I, just ripped it? I clubbed down, dude. You yeah, I was gonna say, down. I went to... Oh my god. Maybe dude. the best that's, shot you ever. That's cathartic. I missed it. You All led right, me astray. Get out of here. 
Jesus Christ. You've been taking lessons from Kim Jong-un? Excuse me? He's a great golfer. <laughs> is yeah. it? Yeah. He's he, Rodman. His average golf score is 18. That's really good. Doesn't get much better than that. No. Huh. Maybe does he have lessons like on YouTube? Mm, no. There are some old VHS tapes that if you could get your hands on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Eat, have you ever tried eating a burrito like it's corn on the Coming cob? Off, that's just uh, stupid. What that mean? That's just that that's insane. Do what does that here? mean? It's a sign of mental illness is what it means. <laughs> Why people... would someone say that though? Like I don't understand. Can like, all the people that post on the circle jerk and what have you just like I'm nobody cares about the, the is this the sandwich stuff. It's anymore. over. It's done. It's yeah. it's like actually terrible. Just shut up. And not funny. We're over it. I don't care I if saw Matt one that Pat was like a hot dog video. split, and then they just put a little bit of bread in the in the the, 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 the cut part. And the meme is it. dead. Yeah, no one cares about that. No good. Like we all love to eat sandwiches, but who Apples cares on bananas. what the definition is anymore? It's twenty. It's two thousand and twenty. It's twenty damn twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Technically, pizza's gone. a sandwich. Oh, Nobody God, cares. Is a ravioli? A type of pierogi? Nobody cares. The earth is a sandwich and the crust is the bread. We got bigger fucking problems. It's true. Have you have you heard about the wasps outside of Ryan's house? <laughs> you who? Yeah, he, he, he boomed you. Bricks. <laughs> he boomed you so good, dude. When will you learn? <laughs> Your actions have consequences. <laughs> I linked that video to Dan today. When, oh, I when he, he loved it. When he half apologized for uh, banning me. And it, in his words, I don't know why it banned you. I, I accept 30% of that apology. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also do not think that he watched the video because he said, lol, what's this? Which is what I say when somebody links me to something that I don't want to open. <laughs> 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 oh, I won't say it. <laughs> you guys' opinions on cake. Oh, dude, Pie you. I, I hate it. You hate it? I don't hate it. Wait, I, you know, like, I've, no, I've no, been no. Hang like, on, hang on. Coming, I feel like I, I've been coming around to cake. I think there is just a plague of bad cakes. I think it's the most commonly fucked up thing on the planet. I like, agree everyone, with you. We, we can find common ground in this take. Because I think I cake think. is pretty good when it's good, like, yeah, but it's so commonly bad. You get like that Betty so Crocker like stuff, shot? and then it's just like mostly dry cake with like some bad icing. Looking at around 155 yards. Robert yeah, and I, I were. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say I, I say this every time we talk about cake, but tres leches cake is a way to re rebirth your enjoyment of cake. It's so. Tell me more about this rebirth. This guy's eating leeches. It's excuse me. Tres, tres leches. leches. <laughs> tres leches. Yeah, it's uh, three milk. Three it's milk? just cake. It's just wet cake. How many sugar? Wet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cake wet has to cake? be moist. It's, it is literally wet cake. Yeah. It's, wet cake. It is delicious. Wet. It's wet, wet cake, dude. Wet cake. It's like, cake. Yeah, you just literally just fight. soak it in milk for like a long time. It's delicious. Wet cake. It's wet cake. <clears throat> you eat this, Josh? You don't understand. It's not that wet much cake. different from uh, cream pie when you think about it. Cream pie. <laughs> I can think of one difference. <laughs> I still like I. I what prefer cake, pie huh? to cake, but you prefer pie. I yeah, agree with oh, that a hundred percent. I and I don't know if we do we classify oh tiramisu God. as a cake. I do love tiramisu a lot. Add cake. I I'm, don't know where cheesecake. Not the no, traditional one. Cheesecake. Now that's it. Personally, cake. I think tiramisu is uh, oh, more of a lasagna. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, whatever it is, I like that we a lot. Just, we just said that this doesn't matter. <laughs> Tiramisu is a sandwich, motherfucker. <laughs> it's more of like a dessert casserole, I'd say. <laughs> but Rob and I talked about this on Wednesday. I, I think I went off and I said some things that people want me to regret, but I don't. <laughs> when we were talking about cake, here's the shit that pisses me off. Is like, if you, uh, Josh, I'll ask you about your office and Malf about your office as well. If, you, if it's your birthday... You have to have a cake. Keep an eye on that. But then, it's not enough to just have the cake. 
if you don't eat a you slice eat of the cake, too. exactly. They look oh, at you like you're ruining your own birthday for not eating something you don't even want to eat. We don't do that. You don't I do would, cakes on the birthdays? I feel like I feel like um, it's like even an HR violation to know people's birthdays anymore, so we just don't do it. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. We don't we don't do cake. We don't really celebrate birthdays or anything like that. And if we did celebrate birthdays, I doubt it would be like a surprise. And they'd be like, "Hey, do you want anything particular for like your birthday or something?" Like That's that. all like I for, ask. Yeah. That's oh, basically. So I mean, my workplace got too busy for that, <laughs> but there was a point in time when it'd be like, nice um, the 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 like office of men would be like, "Yo, what do you want for your birthday?" No one. And if you said I, nothing, you get nothing. If you said, I want pot. He, he fell down, down the well again. again, dude. It's Discord. <laughs> no one else has fallen down wells. Like, you know, Lassie is not needed for anyone except Mouth. Why don't you eat my maybe, ass? Maybe maybe Apollo. But, you know, that's for other reasons. Like, just um, hear me out here. I feel like, what does a cake from a grocery store cost? Like 20 bucks, right? 15 to 20 bucks, maybe? Well Done. If you're gonna Maybe. give me the well, choice between a cake that'll make like eight slices and a pizza that has eight slices, oh. give me the. Can I have a pepperoni pizza instead? Well, that's, well, that's that's cake versus pie, though. It, well, yes, but I, I'm a pie, pie man. I'll take pizza I, um, every time. Pizza every yeah. Of course. Like I don't even like like when I'm eating the cake. This is gonna sound like me, <laughs> but it's like. I don't really enjoy it. I just want it to be done. Like, it's the, one of the only foods in the world where when people are cutting it for me, I'm like, maybe half that. Yeah. And you, you say, like, I like want I said, a small I slice. Be, I used to be right right there with you. Um, I feel like there's been a weird, like, sweet tooth that I've I've developed for cake. Mm. And I don't know what it's about. Like, I can, like, there's bad cake, and I don't like it. But sometimes there's really good cake, and I'm all for it. And, but dude, when it's your birthday and you ask for a small slice, those mm -hmm. motherfuckers give you a quarter of the damn cake. I've never experienced. I don't want that yeah. shit. I don't, I don't know if I ever finished a full slice of cake in my entire the, life. And wow. the, really, the ice. Pass some down here. I'll take some for you. The icing on carrot most cake. cakes is the worst part. Have you had carrot cake? I, I, Dude, carrot cake with cream cheese icing is, really is oh carrot my cake. god! <laughs> oh, now we're talking, boys. <laughs> boys, chill out. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I like carrot cake. Yeah, buddy yeah, boy. Never had it. Really? No, it is. It is. It is nicer than your yeah. Definitely the standard crummy cakes you get. For sure. Hello Crumby. There. My name is John, and I'm gonna be Dude, I gotta tell you. Ice. So, <gasps> you know what I haven't had in sure. in a hot like 12 years. Okay. Um. Uh. You know, just give me a second here. Um. <laughs> nah, you go ahead. Coffee <laughs> cake. Dude. So good. Yum yum yum. Way to ruin cake, honestly. Yeah. I like a I like a bitter cake, like a coffee cake. Yeah, just make, it, just make it taste bad. Why not? Well, it's not bad. Coffee. It's just bitter. It's a different part coffee of the profile. Coffee flavor is so good. It's not good. Coffee's not bitter. It's a little bitter. It it has more of a bitterness than you know refined that's, cane sugar. Ten footer here. This is makeable. I suppose, but I mean, that's just like that's just the heat causes the bitter. Too hot. Get better. Done dropping it. Hot it's damn. Bird. Just do a cold brew coffee cake. There you go. <laughs> You gotta wait. What's that wet cake that you like? Can Tres, you just soak Tres it leches? in the coffee? Is that what you would prefer? Well, tiramisu Apollo? is soaked. That's what the yeah, tiramisu yeah. is the like the espresso. That's what that is. Yeah. Is that why tiramisu is so bad? Because it's that. <laughs> oh, shut it! <laughs> you love it. No, I don't. I didn't. maybe you could have had a bad you're gonna, tiramisu. I you're gonna shit your pants when you have a good tres leches cake. Yeah, you're gonna he's be like lactose intolerant in it because he's old. <laughs> I'm not that. You're old. Yeah, I'm, I'm old not older than you. I'm just bald. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're you're born boomer than me. I don't know if that's true. You do Yo, live I'm in the rust belt. If I if I if I got a new house. Yo, soon. that's pretty sick. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be nice. What's it like being able to own a home? Pretty okay. I'm sure you could do it if you, you put could your do mind it. to it. 
Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, they, yeah you ever put your mind to it? The, the money the makers, the money stealers, yeah, they, just, they want you to have a home. Right. Yeah, rob a bank, dude. They want you to sign your life away. You're already wearing the mask. Shut up. And second <laughs> hole eat coming shit. up. <laughs> I told you to eat shit. You know what kind of cake I actually do like? Carrot, you already discussed well, this. Well, yeah, but then, like, beyond that, those Dairy Queen ice cream cakes like that, that are, like, yes. a little ice cream, and then it's got, like, a crumble cookie layer, and then it's got, like, a hard cookie layer. That's some good stuff. I like okay, that. I like those cakes. Like Me too. Yards to there go. was uh, about a decade-long window where every birthday had that cake, but... There was a good... It was, was a good, good time. I, at that point, I was like, that's the right size. I didn't say cut that piece in half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it didn't sound right. Paul, you ever have one of those? The Dairy Queen cake? No. You never had a Dairy Queen cake? No. <laughs> no. It's like if oh, they take your wet cake and then they froze it. Oh, Blizzard. Why? Blizzard is pretty oh. good. Blizzards are decent, yeah. Decent. I had custard for like the first time. Turns out, it tastes just like ice cream. Who it's just like, pudding. It's like, it's like pudding. Yeah. No, it's like ice cream. Like soft serve. I don't know if custard is like ice cream. You yeah, know, it is. I'm really not a fan of creme brulee. Yeah. Wait, what's the difference between that and the other thing that we were talking about? Tres leches? Creme brulee? Tres it's tiramisu. Oh, they're substantially they're, they're different. They're like birdie. different planets. Creme brulee. <laughs> creme, creme brulee is like a custard with a torch top. Yeah, and you got to kind of crack it. Like, it's not... Tara, I, I won't turn it away, okay. but I don't... It's not something I order. Like, Decent right. little putt there. I've had both of these, and they're both bad. <laughs> no, Tiramisu's <they're laughs> good. <laughs> nope, I just... Well, Josh, both. I think you and I are in the Coming same boat the where... Yeah? Of the, of the meal courses, if they just... If Thanos snapped and dessert didn't exist, it would probably take me a decade to notice. <laughs> yeah, pretty I just much. don't care <laughs> about dessert. Yeah, unless it's a Dairy Queen cake. Yeah, I mean, if the cake was there, I'd be like, mm -hmm. I'd love to have a slice. Yeah. But I wouldn't but be like, like, where's the cake? I will never order, like, a dessert. Yeah. Actually, Kristen had me order something for dessert. <gasps> we had cheesecake. Yes. I would miss cheesecake. Yeah, it's okay. I love... <laughs> Dude, butter tarts, actually. Fuck. Butter tarts, are, they're pretty good. Oh, they're the best. What's a butter tart? Fellas. It's so simple. It's basically like you're just cooking a bunch of brown sugar together and then you pour it into a little flaky tart. And then you ruin it with a couple of raisins. No, that makes it so good. And it doesn't <laughs> have to be raisins. They could be could be other stuff. It could be raisinless. I like raisins. We were grocery shopping this weekend and we walked past one of the the red sun-made raisin displays. And my save. wife said something that made me love her even more. She said, I will never buy these for our daughter. <laughs> and when I, when I knew you... you, you, <laughs> you like the Little packets of, club? of raisins are the... Uh, they're easy nice for a kid's lunch, here. man. They're easy for a child's lunch. But having eaten okay. 5,000 of them in my life, I would not <laughs> pass that on to my child. Who cares? Maybe your kid will just be Part like, I don't like here. these. Nice raisins are great until you get the bad raisin, and then, oh no. I used to eat raisins by, like, the wee little packets all the time as, as a child, and then one day, I was like, I don't like these at all. And then I stopped liking raisins. It's the beauty of being an adult. You could just be like, just because my yeah, mom packed these every day doesn't that mean that I have to eat them anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but what if your kid legitimately likes them? Dude, I don't know. It's like... I, I, sure, fair enough. If a kid is like, I want raisins, I'll be like, fine, here's the raisins. I've already given you the raisin speech 60 times, so, you know, at this point, you know, let, let God sort it out. But, like, the number of times that I have, like, eaten a, a hot red box of raisins, where, like, when you open it up, it's not even, like, raisins. It's just, like, one big raisin tumor stuck together in there. It's like gushers. I love that. <laughs> oh, you're the yes. guy. You're the guy keeping right, sun made in here. business. You know I mean, what? I've never bought them, but I'll, if there's them? raisins, I'll eat them. Tell me about um, raisins. Right, well you guys like them? What's that? It's like cranberry, but it's a raisin. If they're around, mm. I'll eat them. But 
Like I like those in a yeah, salad. Yeah. Like those are good. Yeah. Like it's just like good. But don't give me them. Don't like give me them normie raisins. raisins. Dude. Dried apricots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no. like apricots as well. I like them. I don't like dried and fruit. From the fifth what? Dude, dried fruit mangoes is... are really good. Dried mangoes. No. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> even like dehydrated apple. It's very. Good. Don't like them. I like the texture. Yeah, I will that. say, do you, do you guys have fruit to go in America? Uh, is that like a fruit cup? It is. Uh, what have I done here? Um, it is like fruit jerky. It's like a like a stick of fruit. They got really big here between like I don't know 1996 and 2000, and I was I begged my mom because all the kids at school had fruit to go. And they were like, mm, it's so good. And then I got it as a child. They finally bought it for me at the grocery store. Unpacked it at that school lunch the next Monday. It's terrible. It, it tastes like the like your compost bin. Sounds interesting. Like fruit jerky. But I, I would believe it. I, I don't like any dried fruit. Like dried bananas, oh, bad. Dried apricots, bad. Oh, dried banana chips apples, are pretty bad. good, dude. Yeah, man. Banana chips are dope. Banana, banana chips, chips are, are bad. They're bad. bad. Banana down. chips are good. Thumbs what about banana Josh? chips? Fried plantain. Big <laughs> banana chips. No more. Coming off the car on the last one. Dried mangoes are really good. That lady with all the bananas and fruits in her hair, get him out of here. You talking about Chiquita? Yeah. Chiquita banana, Chiquita banana, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I'm liking it. But there's like. How are you supposed to hit this shot when you can't see? Quite the elevated. Hit it harder. Use your drone. Check your club selection. It's fair. I feel like there's a big uh, gap though between great banana chips and bad ones. Like no. sometimes you get one that's like crunchy and super sweet. Sometimes you get one that's like. This part of the banana did not have any fructose in it. This was just pure fiber. Fucked up, dude. <laughs> Nicely done on the That's why you put three in your mouth. And oh, and they, aver they average out. You gotta, you gotta diversify. No. Your, yeah, I understand. It's investment principles. Oh, that's in. <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> not even close, really. Um. <laughs> This one's it, though. No. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see what you can do with this. I like dried fruits, though, for the most part. Mm -mm. Sir? I mean, it, I, this is not... Here's a, I have an honest hot take, okay? I've said this before. I think that a lot of salads taste better than fries, but the marketing industry has done a number on the human psyche and has you believe that you want fries. When you eat, like, one fry, you're like, this is delicious. On fry 20, you're like, eh, it's okay. okay. If you're eating the salad, you'd be like, this shit was good front to back. But here's my, my tangential belief to this. I believe that on average... Just eating a little okay, cut up is fruit cool. is Number more seven. delicious than a dessert like a cake or a pie or a pastry or something like that. However, we are culturally made to believe that the fruit is, ooh, boring and, mmm, just this grew in the ground. I don't want that. I want, mmm, chocolate. Yum, yum. But shut if you up, actually yeah, took, if you took <laughs> a cerebral analysis, if you had sensors hooked up to their brain, more would activate when they okay, ate the fruit the than when they ate the pastry here. full stop. So... I, love I agree. A big I would. Bowl. I would love like just fucking a bowl of fruit instead of. I like, love a uh, bowl of fruit salad, but <clears throat> blueberry right, pie is better than. Mm -mm. A, I hate yes. blueberries. To me, to me, yes, and that's objective. To, okay, sure, to yeah. me, to me. <laughs> you can't tell me oh, I like would prefer to eat a bowl of fruit salad over a sure. uh, delicious. It is objective to you. I understand. If only someone came up with a word for that. Even par. No, <laughs> I'm not using the word subjective because. That's weak. <laughs> it's got sub in it. You don't want that. Mm, that's fair enough. Okay, let's see what happens here um, on this par four. Dude, if I, I went know. to a restaurant and they were like, for dessert, you can have a slice way. of cheesecake or a big bowl of raspberries, <laughs> I'd be like, give me those raspberries. No, I'd be like, give me the cheesecake. No. I love cheesecake. But it's objective for me. I would take the see, raspberries. See, he guessed it. <laughs> It feels better to say it that way. It actually does. I know. Subjective is like, meh, is my opinion. 
Objective for me is like, how can you argue with that? Yeah, it's like, I know what I want, <laughs> sucker. I don't care. Oh. oh, that's good stuff. Objective for me. <laughs> uh, I don't like when they put the uh, the melons in the fruit salad. And I, I mean, I know that I'm in the minority opinion here. I'll author the minority opinion here. I love the green and the orange melon. I love them both. They are, they are both high tier fruits, objectively for me. Nice. I, I like antelope, dude. That's mine are an asterisk. If they're like good and fresh, like awesome. Mm. But if they're, you know, the funky, like not tasty, ripe ones, That's then. That's all of them. Then that. Green has a high variance. A really soft and sweet green melon is beautiful. Sometimes yes. it's like a little bit like eating bark. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, and then yeah. cantaloupe, I think, is always pretty much at a good standard. I always like a piece of cantaloupe. Yeah. At worst, cantaloupe, I'm just like, hey, it could have a little more flavor. Cantaloupe but. and honeydew taste the same to me, and it's both bad. No, oh, no. they How don't. the fuck? That doesn't make That's any sense. Dude. Honeydew do not like them. That's fine, but they do not taste the same. They taste Josh, equally just say bad. it's objective to you. <laughs> it's objective to me, motherfucker. I don't believe you. <laughs> Honeydew is like that was impressive. pure sugar. It just tastes like like cold sweet. Cantaloupe, I don't know. It almost is. I don't know if it's just because it's orange, but when I eat it, I'm like, oh, it has a little like gourd. It's got a little gourdish taste. All right, looks at to me. Yards ish. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't like any of it. I like the watermelon. But the I mean, other melons, they're delicious. not good. But anytime I get a fruit salad, it's all, how many fucking honeydews can we squeeze in this bitch? Hey, dude, I mean, here's the nice. thing. Okay, I like the honeydew in the fruit salad, but I do support what you're saying here. But can we all agree, the worst fruit in a pre-made fruit salad, and I'm going to repeat that for emphasis, the worst fruit in a pre-made fruit salad, oranges. A no, freshly, a yeah, yeah, a a freshly yeah. cut orange delicious sweet yep. beautiful uh, an orange that was cut and put in this fruit salad two days ago it, like biting into like pulpy acid and it flavors the whole fruit salad with its juice no thank you no thank I've you i've never even seen an orange in a fruit salad really really oh, yeah. well when i get I, a fruit salad it's usually melons right? grapes and pineapple Ooh, that, I mean that seems. I would say all I would add to that is the orange, and you'd be you'd be at the Canadian yeah, standard as well. Bogey. Yeah, uh, no, it, it's uh, always like melons, grapes, pineapples. Like you can get like strawberries in there, and like maybe some blueberries, but that's we that's do. A it varies depending, but banana, um, blueberry, strawberry, sometimes raspberry, mango. And sometimes some melon stuff. Can you name? Mm -hmm. No. Now we're going. No, no, no. Finish it. I love these so, questions. So we talked like we talked about like like the the dried fruits and that, right? Mm -hmm. Are there any dried vegetables? Can you get like carrot chips? The like, carrot chips are a thing, right? Dude, you can get well, like a whole bag full of like, like take any root vegetable. Yeah. They make they make the, the like Sweet the potatoes. Beans. Like they have like Parsons potato and all chips, that. lentils, yeah, like yeah. potato chips. <laughs> and, uh, you can get the puff stuff too. They're like puffed up. I had a thing. They were like uh, puffed up chickpeas. Like, oh, I've had those you too. You never have like a like a like a like a like a dried asparagus. Like, does that exist out in the wild somewhere? Probably could. I've never had Who it. Green and where are you going? I am. I know a shortcut. <laughs> Skirt. Uh, no good. has yeah, got any of them in. red tiles. <laughs> this is the danger. <laughs> <laughs> what? The sh what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> this white dragon is a black. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Pawn <laughs> doesn't even remember is the joke about him. It's freaking yeah. good. Oh, this was a mistake. This black piece of shit is a white dragon. Nope, not even close. N not no. Well, actually, we're off by one letter, but yeah, one probably word, one of the but... worst uh, <laughs> mistakes you could have made. Yeah. <laughs> what, wait, what is it? Blank. Well, white black... piece of oh. shit. Oh, blank piece of shit. I apologize. I didn't mean that. 
Well, at least you've been saying that a lot. Green. Okay, here we go. This one. Yeah, I'm en enough to raise suspicion, I would say. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't you dare say that. I'm just begging the question. Oh, no. Objectively, for me, it's raised my suspicion. I'm sorry. All right, that's all I wanted to hear. Blank piece of shit. I can, you can see where I got confused. Sure, I gotta man. get a food dehydrator. I gotta <laughs> just put him in the. Oven. Did I fall down a well again? No, it just it came out of nowhere, kind of. Oh okay. Dude, no, for, for my. Pets. It was welcomed. How I how long today yet, dude? Dude, you should eat. It's like a six p.m. your time. Yeah, I slept a bunch. You know. It's fair. What are you gonna eat? I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna hit the Grubhub button and it's gonna crash. Do you ever um? Do you ever get like uh, like Italian subs? And we are Italian, Italian subs. It's very specific. Meatball. Is it? <laughs> I'm with Maybe. Josh. I don't think it's that unusual. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> really? You really? should try one out tonight. Oh, yeah. It's got all them Italian meats in it, though. What? What's that? wrong with that? Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, you yes, mean it, like a it, Subway it, Italian sub? No, nice. like just like go like anything with a, salami, Italian, like a mufalata sandwich. <laughs> See, I'm not big on salami. I don't hate it, but I'm not big on it. Mufalata sandwich, objectively to me <laughs> and everybody good. <laughs> oh, Sweet. Five footer here, nothing too bad. You sounded like a vacuum turning on there. I was a vacuum. Oh my Ouch. god. Ouch. Oh, so you never sandwiches are good. Dude, Italian like subs, like Italian hoagies, like that's like my number one thing that I go to when I'm getting takeout, like half the time. A little provolone on there. Oh, Solid dude, stroke. Dude, a lot of provolone. A lot of He's right. Italian hoagies are so good. There's like a couple right of. Uh, and after that, we're I mean, right I gotta be with you. I, whenever Kate's like, I don't really care what we eat tonight. What do you want to have? I'm like, it's up. Salad burritos or sandwiches 100% of the time. Yeah. The last mm -hmm. one. Let's see what happens. And I mean, what is a burrito if not a cylindrical <laughs> sandwich? What is a man? <laughs> Did this place that was, remember I always got spaghetti a lot? Right, yeah. They raised you got their spaghetti price, a lot? They raised their price by $4, $4 for that damn dollars? spaghetti. Yeah, it was $10, now it's $14. $14 for uh, US spaghetti for entree. Ooh, it looks like yeah, I mean it's really good though. It's better meatballs, but still. Do you, do you think they it's a um, come with like a side or sides? Garlic no, bread? just by itself. No salad. You get a piece of bread. That's true. Yeah, garlic bread or bread. like a default. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, that's like a two dollar value Canadian. It it is. I think just that it was just they were getting big orders. You know, lots of people liked it. So they, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the free market, baby. Unlucky. The invisible meatball. The guys, just getting go okay, go to that place and instead of ordering the spaghetti, get the Italian hoagie. I already ordered the spaghetti, dude. I did already. Do you do you yeah. just go, go to their? Do they have a ago. website? Do they have a website? I'm not gonna tell you the name of it because it's local. No, okay, but go to the website and tell me what the price is on the menu for the spaghetti. I want to see how much Senor Grubhub is taken off the top of this one because I'm tired of you being taken advantage of. Don't we'll they tell we'll Grubhub would here. tell you what the, the extra Sometimes are. they raise the price Sometimes. on the yep. menu clandestinely. You know another um, thing they do, oh, not the restaurant you mean. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. thing they do is that and apparently DoorDash encourages this practice. They create like ghost restaurants. Now bear with me cuz it does it's not as cool Don't as it sounds. Uh, but it's just whole number A restaurant just will just have number. like uh, their kitchen obviously. But they will create a digital storefront oh, that's like yeah. you know a mm -hmm. named something else but this has the exact same menu Chuck E. Cheese's did that Chuck E. Cheese's did that yeah yeah Uber Eats they they like they'll indicate it in small look print this. underneath they'll be like that one. I'm sure of it that it's like a yeah whatever like it's not a virtual, real business. virtual and, and it's like the food is made by such and such it's so weird it is I'm looking Menu's a lot bigger here, but no, it's it's the same fourteen dollars. Okay, fair enough then. DoorDash. No. Hey, I don't DoorDash use DoorDash menus. I'm Grubhub not. is the reign supremer of delivery methods. I disagree because there's a reason I didn't use Grubhub before. 
Is it because that they were too thorough on the <laughs> No, they're just unbelievably available? consistently late and nice. See, the, that's the exact opposite <clears throat> practice of what well, it must be different in different areas because Everything is the same in America. <laughs> what is in Pennsylvania is the exact same shit that's in Texas. Chubba Prove me otherwise. Josh, how uh, how big is how y'all doing? Scranton. <laughs> Uh, probably small. Is it yeah. is it the fifth largest city in Pennsylvania? Higher or lower? I'm gonna say so two hundred thousand people. No, one hundred and ninety. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Allentown, Pittsburgh. Allentown is bigger than Pittsburgh. I think so because it's like a suburb of Philly, and I think a ton of people live Philadelphia, there. Philadelphia, Atlanta, LA. It's either Allentown or Pittsburgh. You can sub them. I don't know. And now we find ourselves. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I could probably be wrong. What the fuck knows? I'm not a populationist. Scran, okay, we figured it out. Scran is sixth. Thank you. Yeah, but how many people? I need to know. I'm gonna say three hundred and ten thousand. Harrisburg. What are we talking about? Seventy-seven thousand. <laughs> really? I was way off. Wow. Normally, my my intel for that stuff seems pretty good. Hope Jim and Pam are doing all right. <laughs> It's smaller than our hometown. Well, the hometown. Oh, we, it's we like tell a, Kingston's like 150. Yeah, it's crazy. We got about uh, two. Fair crazy. Driving. You're gonna get a penalty. Why? Because when you drive on the fairway, it goes not as far as it says it'll go. <clears throat> That's fine. Oh, this guy just told me it's the danger zone. He was indeed correct. <laughs> look at the look at the percentage at the top right when you're put. That's that's how far it's gonna go. That's true. Didn't. You Uber Eats just buy Postmates. Somebody just bought Postmates. Apollo, he just got some Grubhub. Mm. Grubhub. But all these deliveries, they're, they're all getting bought out. Also, bought skip the dishes, change their logo. Oh, my gosh. Well, Foodora oh, no. uh, shut down Can Canadian operations when their cycle union threatened to strike a new collective bargaining agreement. <laughs> Is that good? Mm, no, they couldn't. It's because they shut down because they couldn't afford Pharrell's hat. <laughs> Wait, did they really form a union and the company just decided to shut down? Yeah. That's... <laughs> did they start, like, a new company doing the same shit? Nah, I think they just retired. Yeah. What a weird oh, thing I to do. I only want to make I all the money. Some of the money sucks. Well, Fuck. You, you could have had a birdie there. I, I think you know that. <laughs> what a but, bunch uh, of triple bogey yeah. on that one. <clears throat> like, I don't want to do it, but I want someone around. in chat to do it. Can't you just, like... Like, what's stopping you, uh, apart from motivation and... Maybe skill, but what's stop and infrastructure? But what's stopping you from making like a DoorDash, but instead of taking ten percent of each order, you take like one percent of each order? Like, how much could it possibly cost you to operate DoorDash? It's it's a URL and like an outsourced tech support company. You have to pay people to do things. But that's the thing. It's like if you open it up, I'm not even sure they're paying their support. You need enough drivers ready to go. Like if somebody were to use it. Yeah. But they get paid by the customer. Like, the middleman is just like... Uh, DoorDash is just the middleman. Mm. Still need to get out the, the word out there to get all the drivers to sign up. You just start Marketing. driving it yourself to begin with. You can't, though, because then 20 people are going to order it, and then only one person, then they're going to go on to, like, Reddit and be like, Arr, her to her. <laughs> That is how Reddit sounds. Okay, it looks like about 18. No, the, uh, he, he, hear me out here. The The DoorDash drivers, or the driver of this new service, they still get the same cut that you would, would give to them on Grubhub or DoorDash. But the cut that goes to the corporation is going to be just less. Like, come on, DoorDash is not using all of the revenue that they're generating for operating costs. When you oh, order when you order two hamburgers on on DoorDash, it's not like it costs them six fifty to get them to you. Like they're not like, oh shit. We gotta <laughs> we gotta start cooking these sons of bitches up, you know? Well Curtis says payment gateways want two point nine percent plus thirty cents at minimum. <clears throat> right, yeah. Well done. We're in the so you gotta cover that minimum. Okay. That's fair. I mean if you run it through Square or something like that. But they, you know, you just put that in the tax portion, and nobody looks at that Our anyway. Here. Let's just nice expensive. Clean drive. <laughs> I don't understand what we're talking about. I'm just uh, there's a lot of uh, capitalist simp's in chat right now. That's all I'm saying. 
Mm, Mr. DoorDash, you didn't prepare nor bring me my order, but you made the website. Please take my seven dollars. Mm, thank you. I very much appreciate it. They didn't do anything. Aren't you incorporated? Yeah, well, aren't yeah, you the one then. usually arguing the other side of things here? <laughs> Oftentimes I argue the other side, but in this case I think that they are they're not woke. What is woke? Woke is Awoken. is uh objectively in my opinion uh a race Very between nice. individuals to see who can have uh the most opinions. Oh, the end. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for Thanks coming. Out. Thank, Thank you. you. I am longer. now more woke. Mm. Not really. Solid You've heart. woke me. Well uh, clearly not. Okay. <laughs> okay, I really so want to do one of those, you know, the like honey steps. commercials where they're like, they use it to order food and they're like, look at how much money I saved 30 bucks on 800 pizzas. Is this not great? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're, you've got it all figured out, brother. I want to be able to shoot one of those commercials and just buy like a thousand all pounds right. of spaghetti cool. and be like, I Five saved eighty-two dollars. <laughs> hey, I got a question. What the hey, fuck hey, is Rakuten? Uh, it's, it's a Yakuza. Oh, isn't that like it's like a, a browser thingy, uh, like a extension or something? And if you buy stuff through it, it gives you it's like an Air Miles thing or something. Every commercial makes it sound like when you buy a shirt, they give you money, which makes no sense to me. They're like, I shopped on Rakuten and I bought a new dresser and they it's, paid for my car. It's Ebates rebranded. What is Ebates? Are you talking about, about the, eBay? It's, like it's about the ad data. So I guess it's like they get paid because they sell your data of the things you buy. Um, so that's how. You know how it be. It's well, I think that's like that's kind of how honey works too, right? You know, like, uh, how yeah. is it free? No, those are made by the wasps outside, Ryan. <laughs> they just make help. paper, like Scranton. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, they, they sell them. the paper. They don't make it. Flynn, people, persons, paper, people. <gasps> Ryan. Come. Yes. You should watch the Umbrella Academy. I watched uh, the trailer for season two. And no, I you want to watch the season one. Well, yeah, I would you watch one. the trailer? Because I've seen the trailer two. for season one, and I said, this is too precious for me. And then it's, I, when I watched the trailer for season two, I said, you know what? This looks a little bit more up my alley. So you're just going to skip season one? No, I would Don't start at season, season two. But I, but I warmed up to the premise of the show because the marketing materials for season two appeared to be more in line with what I'm looking for than season one. Did they, like, yeah, yeah. Precious like a mean, in this in this scenario? Precious would mean... Um, that it would be enjoyed by Doctor Who fans. I don't like Doctor Who, so... Oh, well, geez. Um, yeah. I, man, I wish I had the title of Precious... Uh, Based on the novel Pushed by Sapphire. Thank you. That would have been a really good time for that punchline. <laughs> 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 like, when you said, what's Precious? I would have then replied, <laughs> uh, media properties that are based on the novel Pushed by Sapphire. All right, you're on. I don't like, even know what uh, any of these things are. Precious? Gabaret Sidibe? The ring is precious, Josh. Well, one of them is. The one ring to rule them all. What about the one where like the girl comes out of the TV? That's uh, Ooh, Ringu. You're talking about <laughs> Ringu. <laughs> I thought it was like a pop He's not even the best right, drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Isn't that the movie where, where Johnny Depp is a frog? Oh. Rango. It's Rango. Oh, okay. We'll go Thank our you. separate ways. Thank you. Nice little tap in of a par to finish now us that's off a vacuum. today. Well done. Two under you guys learn how to golf. Shut Is up. <laughs> Are we done? It got real hard there at the end. Dude, that was fast. We're, we're eight oh, minutes dude. over. Dude. Fantastic. You know, we go with the time. I don't pay attention. Time goes that so four. fast. We'll do I some beat. track mania, yeah. All that for Oh, uh, copyright claim was created for content in Northern Lion Plays L.A. Noir episode 21, Twitch VOD. Um, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It is a song from the 1950s. Enjoy the, enjoy the two cents of ad revenue. Sony Music Entertainment. Think anybody owns the Jeopardy soundtrack on vinyl? 
<laughs> Can you imagine if you went over to somebody's house and they put that shit on? You would, I would lose my Bro, mind. Bro, pass the odds, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that would be sick, dude. Yo, this is my jam. <laughs> there are two uh, songs uh. in Jeopardy, though. There's also the uh, one they play at the start that's got a got the horns. A uh, homemaker. The music. Oh, then. <laughs> oh, then there's also beep 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 when you run out of time. Uh, yeah. Or um, I'm trying to think. I thought there was one. Oh, Bing, Bing. That's when they're introducing the categories. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. Words that start with PH. In this category, we'll be discussing words that start with a P and an H. Pheromones. Phallic. <laughs> That's not how Jeopardy works, but I'll get working on some clues. <laughs> I'm just I'm not gonna get a lot of opportunities to be right in the third segment, so I gotta get going early. I don't know. I think I think you guys are fairly evenly evenly matched in trivia. Oh. Although I will say that Malf did oh, play on the trivia the trivia team in high school. Ryan, I'm very stupid. The trivia. I think I got like one answer right that year. I just remember losing all the matches we played, all 10 matches we played at the regionals, and just getting a hockey category and looking down the line in shame as our mutual friends got every single one wrong. I, I remember specifically, they would like, we're going to name three hockey players, and you name the team they're most famous for playing for. And then... I don't want to brag, but it's kind of like my category. So I got my question right, and then it passed to our mutual friend who has two children. And uh, no, now, not then. <laughs> and they went like, I know him. they went, Jean Beliveau, Guy Lafleur, and then like some other incredibly famous Montreal Canadian. And he went, I don't know any of those, <laughs> would have gotten it wrong. He went, Chicago Blackhawks. And they oh. were like, no. And it's then, cause, the, yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I could not name you more than probably like two hockey players. Okay, name them. Name them. Sidney Crosby. That's one. Yeah. What what team? Objectively. He's of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Correct. Yeah. And then uh, I forgot his name. He's the was the big one. The, the big uh, one. The big not one. Watsky. That's a rapper. Watsky. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky. Um, <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Oh, Watsky. Gain Join Watsky. on me. I join a track of the day. Oh, okay. Okay. By the way, the if you have not played today's track of the day, you are going to shit your pants in anger. You well, are going to. Actually, you're already going to shit your pants and having to play this one again. I didn't want to brag, but I'm third in British Columbia right now. <laughs> Brian, I didn't want to brag, but I beat you on yesterday's. Yeah, I didn't want to brag. How'd you do on the four before that? <laughs> I didn't do them. Exactly. I probably would have beat you though. Mm. What the dude, fuck dude, is this? Dude, this is a great track. Suburbia, this is a fantastic. But you, Apollo, you are gonna fucking hate this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, this is grounded. It is grounded. It's grounded. Go to your room. Hello, Tomo. <laughs> dude, this is a banger. This is. It's a hard course to learn in five minutes, though. Oh, very mm. much. Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> this was a good track, though. It was tough. Ooh, to the first turn is not bad. Oh, here we got a jump. Let's see if it lines up at all. Oh, nope. No, no, it's not heavily, even a little bit. Heavily, not. deliberately not lined up. Yeah, it's like every jump. And oh, it, it gets a little harder. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad over that just yet. I think that's the shittiest jump. Genuinely least favorite track of the day for a while. You were wrong. Play today's track of the day. You will shit your pants <laughs> in anger, like an Oasis <laughs> song. Oh, shoddy, can't wait. What's that? You know I it's know. too late as he's brown in his pants. Hmm. The shard slides away. Ryan, what are you going to have for, uh, you have any, you have the, those meals coming in again? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to have. We got like a meal left from our last delivery. But it's not like a high value meal. What does that mean? It's like one of the ones where we were like, oh, we're cooking this one last. Okay. So we'll you got the, we'll why even why even settle for that in the first place? I don't place? make the menu. Kate picks the menu. And then sometimes Kate. when it comes, she's like, uh, I didn't really want that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right. 
I'm not picky. I'll eat pretty much anything. Yep. Bro, pick. this is the longest track I've ever seen. Oh, wait till you get to uh, NASCAR Lakeside, which I think statistically should be two from now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's happy. Finish. I thought I had to land on that. I'm just happy I fucking finished, dude. Yeah, me too. What the frick? Where Ryan? am I going? <laughs> I just, this map is actually good besides that fucking jump. You've played yeah, it for four like, just, seconds. Like, did Not nobody good. play this and just go like, hey, would this be better if we didn't have a terrible it's jump at the start? It's a good map. It is besides that jump. Even I'm including impressed. that jump, it's fine. It's not total shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. You don't have to make split-second turns without even seeing the next part of the course. You actually can react on your first go-around. Do you hit the the Y button a lot, Apollo? How does the Y button do? It's, it's last checkpoint reset. Yeah. So so you don't go all the way back just to your previous checkpoint, which can be helpful on your first run-throughs just to get used to where you're going. Oh my God! Press the Y button. No, I already finished one. I don't need to do the Y button again. Yeah, but you gotta do it. Oh, well, actually, this, I, this course is eight years long. We're out of time, so I guess, fuck me. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave? Yeah, I'm gonna jump off the map. Oh, and around. backwards for GPS. Oh, go. If you go in the water, you fall through the map. Yeah, but I found the bottom. Yeah. I'm gonna oh. see. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm coming down to visit you. I finished. Oh, there you are. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Big speed. Big speed. Big speed. <laughs> Didn't work. Sorry, macros. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I hit B. Hold on, I'm coming back. Yo, this is a fun drop. Don't drive into me. Hi. Phil, excuse me. I'm gonna close my Whoa. door. One this song is fucking here. good, dude. Oh no, I flipped over. <laughs> There's so many people that are true. Everyone's talking about the map. Are you listening to this song? No. It's a bop. Oh, I turned off all the music after uh, one of the levels tried to play the Game of Thrones song. Do, 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 no one do, told do, you do, Thrones do. were gonna be played games. Da, 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 da. My dad's my sister, and my mom's Tyrion Lannister. Okay, because they have a lot of intercourse with each other in the yeah in the show. Dude, the dog, don't leave the map. It's so good. I want to listen to a song more. I don't think I played this one. Does anyone know the name of that song? Uh, Game of Thrones by. Fuck you! No, it was that was Fabrizio... Song Two. <laughs> oh, this this could be oh, good yeah. or bad. No, this is this uh, definitely does not look like a good one for you. What's it like to think every track of the day is below average? I don't know. It reminds me of Mario Maker. <laughs> Just say objective to you, Paulo. Then it, it then it sounds better. I legit have no qualms with the game itself. It seems good. It's just legitimately the tracks almost every time. I actually didn't play this one. Me hey, either. the first the first jump is you know a jump you can do. That's nice. Well, I crashed, so I think it sucks. It's a little like confusing where to go there, but not horrible. So far, we're, we're doing all right. This course is not horrible. Oh, I agree. I was worried about it when I saw it, but... Oops. Yeah, I liked it. I liked, I liked it when I bought, bought it. it. <laughs> not bad. I still have my first go-around. Oh, that's an awkward looking jump at the end there, but you know, it gives you enough room to work with. It honestly, so far, the courses today have been leagues better than the other ones. Really. <laughs> <laughs> a huge portion. Ubisoft is listening to Apollo. We're listening. Oh, you can you can just game that first jump. Okay, you can't you can't game the second turn though. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, he's right. You can't. Aim it means full speed. I understand. Mm. You're going to love the next track we do. If you like driving at full speed, 
You might be a little upset, though, because the lap uh, time is two minutes, and you'll wow. only have five minutes to complete the course. Wait, is it the one we did last night? Yeah. Oh, baby, let's go! Lakeside, After two baby. hours, it's seared into my brain. <laughs> two hours. Oh, I had to beat you, brother. <laughs> I When I was doing it, I was going to stop earlier. And then I went to, like, give me opponents from North America. And who did I see but Xeneron and Wolves at my door. Oh. So I said, I can't stop until I beat them. So I just did it easily. So then I beat them by beating you? Yeah, but then they when they saw that I beat yeah. them, they probably beat me after that. And but you still no. might be ahead of them. I don't know. And the thing is, I even on my run, I screwed up and I lost like a second. Well, I mean, uh, obviously. Or on my like my last good. Yeah, run. I mean, obviously, right? Like, otherwise, you'd be first in the world. Well, maybe not. Maybe top ten. <laughs> Just saying, I popped a wall at the end, and I was scared. Hold on, I can't talk. I'm in the middle of pogging. <laughs> pogging? Pogging. Dog. The, act, the act of pog. Better, closer, warmer. Donde esta la pog? This is a good. I like this course. Yep. I, I do too. I wish it wasn't on a Saturday, so I could have done it. You're doing it right now. Yeah, but like on video. Yeah, I wish it was like I was by myself with this one. I hear that. Wow. Have some, have some <laughs> real fun, you know. <laughs> even get gold, he sucks. Look, you've interrupted yourself more than we've interrupted you today. Who, me or Ryan? Ryan. Well, I didn't even say anything. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. It's I the okay. Oh. It's the vacuum. <gasps> okay, the last jump is dookie. I'll say that. <laughs> oh, the last jump is fine. What's wrong it's with it? stupid. It's totally, totally fine. Ryan, if he was a uh, vacuum, he'd be Jonathan Hoover, though. <laughs> It's a hockey plus vacuum hockey cleaner joke. joke. I'm just telling you, if you think that last jump sucks, like, get ready for every other track this game has ever made that has jumps. No, I know, it's it's just dumb. It's bad you do, get, you do get used to them after a while, but, like, if you don't play it and practice it, then they suck. But. Hey, if you use the vacuum, maybe Keith could suck. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. But actually, he's just Keith Kasuk, anyways. <laughs> you could have made it like Matthew Kasuk and had it be a reference for anybody that's younger than 70 yeah, years old. Yeah, but the Matthew Kasuk doesn't fall far from the Keith Kasuk tree. So <laughs> he sucks by, like, just genetics, you know? Right. I mean, I wouldn't have put it that way, but it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone out here doing donuts with me? I'm somewhere. Hey, I got ninth. Well, don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> Still six seconds left. Oh, yeah. Oops. I hope no one beats ninth. All right, I you're lucky. I feel like it. You're lucky. I did it. I only got a silver, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, was a tough one. Wonder, oh. how do you feel about shortcuts? Not good. Not, I don't no like point. them. Stop making yeah. shortcuts in your levels. Yeah, it's very resinous. I do. I mean, some of the levels, though, they're not intended, right? Or are they always intended? I think they're always intended. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like the one, like the big jump one on the the June courses or the summer courses, that was intended. That absolutely. Yeah. S a sand drift. <laughs> Have I done this Temperature, one? 40 degrees Celsius. Wait, Weather. I thought you said the next one was the, the I thought it was one. NASCAR. No, oh. if, that, this, if that was Saturday, then this is Sunday, though, right? NASCAR's was Sunday, though. Oh. Drive backwards for GPS. Well, that's a tough turn, huh? Yeah, I, I boned that first up. <laughs> oh, wow. drift. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yep, okay. We're good. We're good. I haven't done this one. I didn't play the one prior to this, but I played this one, though. This but one. I caught up on all the... What do you got? What? This one's a little touchy. It's a little tough. I don't yeah, even, I caught I don't up even on need all the to horses, though. I don't even need to say it, Apollo. I don't even need to say it. I'm doing fine so far. Oh, you go over there. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I don't know how I didn't fall off there. 
I never really got good at this one. Particularly because of that right there. I golded. Oops. Yeah, but gold is like just showing up. Yeah, that's true. Silver is up. like, hey, you didn't fall down and die. Pretty insulting, honestly. Oh, is this the one with that terrible little pseudo jump at the end? It is. It is the one with the little terrible pseudo jump at the end. Oh shit, I think that's the jump that you meant. You just kind of like bounce on it. Yeah. The spice. But then like soon we'll be on NASCAR mm. Lakeside. That's what you think. Yeah. Unless it's been removed. I don't know. I've learned the track mania community hates fun. Sometimes, yeah. Like anytime a track has non-concrete elements, they go, I just want concrete. And then if they have a pure concrete track like NASCAR Lakeside, they go, it's too long. I feel like there's a middle ground between having all yeah. concrete and then not being two minutes though. I right? think every course should just be one concrete corner. Okay. That's it. There was a time where you thought the most perfect Mario Maker level was what, just like four Goombas all No, like forty down. forty Koopas. <laughs> With Sorry. wings. Now Boy, I've realized yes. that my favorite level is that, but also you have to take the shells and throw them at switches. <laughs> Midair. Midair. Concrete corner where cars go through. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yo, that was a good section. Kind of screwed it up at the end. But... Oh, come on. Really? 11th? Eleven? It's an insult. <laughs> I'm doing bad. It's a tough course. Can you shut it, up? I'm behind Ollie by like seven million seconds. <laughs> this is, this is it's a insulting. tough course. Especially for someone like you. Hold on. There's some like that last jump element is is nasty. I'll admit, you I know, said, said some nice things. with a gold, you may as well be fucking brain dead. Like, I <laughs> well, like it depends how much. In five minutes, I think any metal's good. But you know, most of these dailies, Malf and I played them for like an hour. Yeah. And I mean, if you if we finished a daily, and I saw that Malf had only gotten a silver medal, I would be like, oh, is he okay? I better check in. Dude, I wouldn't upload that for fear <laughs> of, like, you know. If I can't, if, if, if I can't get a gold in an hour, just give up forever, you yeah, know? Yeah, agreed. But uh, usually it's like, I'll probably get the author medal in an hour. Oh, whoops, I accidentally got the author medal. I didn't on last night's, though. I don't I know. Know. It was like 156. It was, it was. Tight. Oh, real? I got like one. Yeah, so 158 something. But I don't think I could do 156. Certainly not an easy one. No. Let's hear it. I like the the first corner in it though. The, like the little air turn. Oh, be... dude, you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. Eighteenth place. Twentieth. I didn't. I know like it. this one. I this is the one. This is the kind of track I could spend two hours on, no problem. I give this the track of the day certification. Apollo. Hmm. How'd you like it? The track was fine. I'll accept it. Ryan will accept that. I think that's a reasonable take. Look, Doctor Z wins the match. He wins every time. He's so good, it hurts. I think that there should be a separate leaderboard only for North Americans. Or just friends. That would be nice as well, actually. Right? Like, I don't understand how that's not a thing. Like, today, I was pogged. I was 13th at the time of the recording. I was 13th in the egg carton, but I was number one North American in the egg carton. And I that's was good. like, that's as good as I'm ever going to get. Because like, not doing if, your... This is it. This, this is, is it, it right here. Yeah. Oh, this is it. Yeah, this, I thought this, this was is, the. This is I Lakeside. This was like the broken bridge one. No, the bridge is fine. 
The okay. thing with this one, you gotta like, you gotta remember like, do I be on the left side of the track or the right side? Because otherwise you get airborne, and if you're airborne, you yeah. lose time. Remember that on one of your two attempts. Yeah, Ryan's first lap on his attempt, he, he hit the, the air coming up here. Sorry, I, I, well, I, you know, I also didn't spend two hours on it. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not memeing. I'm just saying you could have had an extra is this, time. There's two laps on this. Correct. Yes. Why? Because it's NASCAR. Fine. Oh, Oops, that's, geez. that's solid. I bopped. That's okay. I can make the time up. It's a long race. But it is also one that requires some focus. <laughs> I will say I wish I could turn off all your ghosts right now. What? It gets distracting. Oh, stop. Stop. I'm he out here trying to min-max the corners, and it's hard if I can't see the corners. <laughs> well, you know what? We're not, we're not min. It's, we're just a I'm min friends Josh. hanging out, holding in the R2 button. Objective to me, I'm min-maxing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't like how there's green arrows. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say, I, I was holding it in, but, like, this person may have no idea how to use the arrows. What do you mean? <laughs> you use the green arrows when you can hit it full speed. You use the yellow arrows and you got to slow down. You use the red arrows and you got to slow down a lot. It's simple. It is literally how street lights work. I mean, yeah, this guy just puts them out randomly. Like, he doesn't even give a shit. You can take he the corner at full speed. <laughs> you just got to take the turn better. No. Yes. I take the turn no. perfect. The yellow, air, like, there's yellow arrows where you can take it at full speed. And there's green arrows That's where you true. can't. You that cannot is... take that corner. I just took it full speed. Which one? The very first corner? The one right before the reactor boost. There's no way. You... Yeah. Oh, no, no. Reactor you can. You can. You can. Can't do it. You can. Can't do it. You can. I spent two hours doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you got to do, like, an air turn. Otherwise. Yeah. Oh, you got to do an air. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that were we just not discussing how that wasn't full speed? Full speed. Yeah, but you have to work on the race for two hours. Like corner corner approaches and stuff is a big thing at like to get full speed. I agree, like if you're just casually racing, then you can't just do like a normal, but Uh, you know what? I did lay off the throttle there, but I am mad at myself for doing so. I think I could have done it without laying off the throttle. Oh, you made a fatal mistake, sir! You have made a fatal mistake! What happened? I, well, I, I had a good lap. <laughs> oh, you had a good lap? I had a pretty good uh, lap. I'm in ninth. It's not going to last, but that was pretty good. That is good. I got oh, I'm in 16th right now. Well, you know, I have to be committed because... Yeah, this yeah. one's pretty much got to be perfect. <laughs> I think it's got to be a little bit better than perfect. Screw I've been laying off way too oh. much, but that's okay. Still having fun. Screw You're still having fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, I Good. popped there though, that's bad. No! Popped again, Josh! Oh no! Alright, you guys don't go anywhere, I'm gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I guess he's got time. Oh, I beat Ryan, that's okay. Fuck me! This is a cool it's, track. It is. I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I don't know about playing it for two hours straight, but... Oh, dude. Had to beat my boy. Plus, it's good practice. For what? For the, like, future tracks, you know? There is no future tracks. There's always a future track. Nope. Yep. Mm-mm. What, you think like there's a track of the day or some shit? What is it? How do you feel knowing that Ryan's holding his wee wee right now? Like, do you think? Yeah, and like he'll he'll soon press his gooch down. He's probably not even the, gonna wash his get hands. Get all the piss out. Probably lick his hands after. He's gross. He, he, he might. Seems like something that he would do.
That's so bad. I did worse my second go around than I did my first. Did you guys know? Um, <laughs> How was it in there? <laughs> did you guys know that in the uh, Airbud movie, Airbud's seventh inning fetch, uh, not only does Airbud play basketball, he actually wins World Series MVP playing for the Anaheim Angels. Huh? He plays professionally. Correct. Does he play outfield? I don't know. I've never seen it. I just read a retrospective today. Does he catch with his glove? See, that I don't know. I'm still just trying to manifest in my mind the kinematics of a batter who cannot look at a pitch and swing simultaneously. Yo, this is the... You guys are gonna shit your pants. Oh, Do not vote to skip. If you vote to skip, you are an actual coward. You're a coward. Don't... Don't do it. It's a good map. Do not. Vote no. Vote no. You guys are I hate no. I hate thank no. you, thank you, thank you. Overwhelming majority is I don't no. like new things. All right, but did, look, it does. This one sucks. It does have some elements of shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, tricky ice. You don't know it's ice at first. Oh, yeah, that's that's one of them shit elements. Yeah, it's <laughs> shit. It really is shit. Do not vote to skip. <laughs> Yeah, no. It... If you vote to skip, you are a troll. Why is my car like turning just like blank? It's like a weird graphical. Okay. I I could spend a lot of time with this. <laughs> POV, you are poop in the turlet. <laughs> <laughs> what? I missed the turn at the end. <clears throat> there we go. You know what? That's fine. I like it. It's dumb. Yeah, 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 let's go, Josh. It's not long. It's less than 40 seconds to get, like, a bronze. My man's coming around. I will say it would be nice if the server uh, could handle it. What do you mean? I'm not having any problems. I mean, it's framey <clears throat> is all get out for me. Make sure that you're um, full screen. Yep. You sure? Yes. Then maybe you just need a better computer. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Actually, you know what? I don't think it was the active window. No, it's still pretty crappy. Hmm. That's weird. You don't insult a man's computer, Josh. I just did to you. You're just not. Did yeah, but you, you should. Yeah, but I did to it's you. It's like insulting a man's watch. There's just some things that are sacred. You don't wear a watch. I wear a watch. You son of a bitch, how dare you? Stay on I'll target. Stay on target. That's not so bad. <laughs> Yo, Canada dominates the midfield. This has got to be like... There's a, there's a secret. There's a trick to this, and I don't know what it is. There's no shortcut, but there is, like, a trick. Yeah. The trick is uh, constantly counter steering. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get used to that. Been a while since I've been on the ice field. I hear that, brother. The ice field. Is that what they call hockey rinks? Uh, if you want. Yeah, I mean, you can call whatever you want. Just don't call it late, late for, late for the face off. Yeah. Hey, Josh, are the Penguins gonna beat the Canadians tonight? Hmm, no. Good. We're gonna lose in overtime again. Like a bunch of idiots. I think the Penguins will win. Um, who's home? <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably are give the us the advantage of this season. Um, are, who are the what? The, the Patriots of this. The team nobody wants to win. Um, depends who you are, but like. If you're, no, but like, and nobody like. I mean, so there's no the similar. Right? There, I mean, there's no super dynasty that's still good, but the Bruins are probably the closest. Bruins, although, I, well, I mean, the Flyers are. I, oh, yeah. They're better. I mean, yeah, they, but they people love them, gritty. But yeah, I, I don't think there's that much bad blood from the average hockey fan towards the Flyers. If you're like a, a Penguins fan, or, you know, then that's a different story. But yeah, I mean. 
Flyers were killing it going in. I mean, they're nine and ten or nine and one in their last ten. But I, don't know. I mean, if anything, I, I feel like the Penguins are actually kind of the Patriots. Hmm. Which I don't mean as an insult. I, I like the Penguins. No, I mean you might be right. I mean we are the best team. You've, you've won four Stanley, well three Stanley Cups in Sidney Crosby's tenure, and yep. uh, you know you're consistently very good. Yes. There's a little bit more parity. I mean, like, it, otherwise, maybe Chicago, because they've won three Stanley Cups in the past decade, but, like, Chicago's... Yeah, didn't they, like, score as many goals in this round of playoffs, and they did it all last They season. did indeed. <laughs> they did oh, indeed uh, score more goals. What's his face? Rookie uh, Chicago got five points Kub his first Kubelik. game. Yeah. Yeah. Dom Gabriel uh, Kubelik push the story by Kubelik. Sapphire. Oh, you guys. Ozzy is a little bitch boy. You know what, you little fucker? Come over here yeah, and touch my you face. Say that. <laughs> you come around here saying that, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just say to me? It's my Alex Jones impression. <laughs> it's just, it's really weird cheering for teams to like win or lose right now because you're like, you don't want to cheer for the team to lose and then they get Lafreniere. You know? They get what? Lafreniere. Lafreniere. Hey, uh, hey, NL, great job. What does that mean, right? Great, great job, what NL. Is Lefren you got third place. He's the number really one. 56 players, you got third place. NL, great job. You beat Zeneron. No. Oh. He's the number one <laughs> draft pick. And whoever loses in this, uh, the play-in round, like, the, the, the teams have a one in eight chance of getting him. He's right. Yo, Sigmundus. So like part of you, you're like, you're like, I want my team to win. And then the other part of you is like, but if we lost. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. No, you can't lose to Minnesota in the first round. <laughs> Unless. Unless. Oh, this one again. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think probably, well, I don't know. The other most hated team in the, in the NHL is probably Toronto. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Toronto unanimously, like, most, pretty much every other Canadian team, like, they'll have their rivalries, but they all hate Toronto. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, even, like, a lot of, I'd say, U.S. fan bases are, like... Don't the don't the Rangers hate the Toronto? Because they stole, like, a player or something, right? Oh, Tavar... No, that's the Islanders. Oh, that's the Islanders, yeah. We're close, oh. yeah, New York Islanders, so... Basically, John Tavares... Rather than taking more money to stay in New York or go to other teams that they're offering more money, but he's like, no, I want to. My childhood dream was to play for the Leafs, so he took a bit less money. Wow, what a piece of shit! Yeah. So I'm gonna be the guy. <laughs> uh huh. Who cares what jersey you wore as a kid? He like, does. Yeah, I mean, but like, he does. Objectively to him. Yeah, but objectively to him. You it's like you. it's against parody though, because like nobody grew up being like, I'm a huge fan of the Florida Panthers. It's my lifelong dream to play for Florida. You know. I'm done hearing you say against parody. Like it doesn't mean anything to me. Like what is he parodying? Is he weird out now? Like I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I just mean like it's an unfair advantage for Toronto, because they have like really? the most fans. So as children, they're gonna have the most fans who want to grow up playing for their team. What about it being an unfair advantage for like Florida, where the state tax is negative twenty percent? So I do agree like, with that as well, quite frankly. You know, because the same is Steven. It's Toronto wanted Steven Stamkos, but he's like, but I could make more money in Florida. Florida, and live in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how's that working out? <laughs> wow, he's so so joyful with his laughter about the state Sorry. of Florida. <laughs> Messed up, Michael L. Fox. It is messed up. I agree. <laughs> well, like when they, I was watching the Jets and Flames game on uh, Saturday, and they yeah. were like, I forget who it was, maybe Morrissey. They're like, he grew up being a Flames Calgary. fan. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, they're like, how do you think it's going to affect him? I'll, I'll answer a question for you. Fucking not at all. Is the shirt he wore in like sixth grade when he was playing pee wee hockey? I mean, he did want to get drafted by them, but like. You, you get over it. You get over it. I, I mean, I hope so. Grown ass man. He's a grown ass man. Although Dude now. Dude is a babe, too. He's one of my favorite guests. <laughs> we are. He kind of looks like uh, Moriarty from Sherlock. He does. He really does. Oh, man. 
but uh, we're now at the point where when I look at NHL players, they all look 14 years old to me. Unless they have a big Joe Thornton beard. I look at them all and I go like, you're like a little kid. You're like, how old are you? And they're like, 29. I'm like, oh shit. How old does uh, Matthews with his little pencil stash look to you? I think he looks, he looks at his older 20s. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll say that he's the exception of the rule. But Elias Pettersson will never not look 14. Which about... I think is why he makes uh, opposing defenses so angry. Because when he punks you with like a beautiful deke, then you just go like, shit, this middle schooler just got past me. And you're embarrassed, <laughs> and then you take a penalty. Dude, I don't know. I have, the, like, I look at freaking uh, Stone. Right, yeah. And that dude looks like Wolverine's brother to me. <laughs> he is the most he, manly he, he man. He looks He's like, like Liv Schreiber. Yeah, okay. I, I can totally see that. Yeah, I'm like, how is this man, like, a few years younger than me? Yeah, it's messed he, up. Yeah, he could... Hear me out. Yeah. Teams should have to use their emergency goalies more often. It would be fun, for sure. Like if Not you for commit, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> if you commit too many penalties, you should get your goalie replaced with the emergency goalie. Well, here's some bullshit that I'm mad about. Um, I think that penalties are bullshit. Let me explain why. <laughs> oh, here we if, go. if you look at... Uh, I saw... I wish I had it on me, because it would really help me make my case. But I saw a graph or a scatter plot on the uh, hockey subreddit a while ago that was like the penalties that teams take versus the penalties that are called against them and like universally there is almost a one-to-one -one relationship now there could be multiple explanations maybe when you get penalties taken against you you get mad and you're more likely to commit penalties yourself however it seems like what it's more like is like when referees call like two penalties that are legit against a team, they go, well, now I got to call one back the other way. That's like borderline. So I think penalties are bullshit. No, I like them. I like a power Even when play. I hate them. Don't get me wrong, but don't resident sleeper me. You are the most resident sleeper man. Just because I made a point that's three sentences long. That was a lot more than three. I don't seconds. think it was. They were. They were. Your that was more than three seconds. Yeah. Three like, seconds. Yes. One sentence that you have is the entirety of "Old Man in the Sea." How do people talk there? Mmm. Sandwich. What <laughs> on? What on? Tomato. Mmm. No spinach. You know, like. No. What? Watch the lighthouse. <laughs> and your farts. <laughs> Yins. <laughs> Oh no, is this this is this is why Oh yeah, here we go. It's just the I last like section that sucks. Yeah. How much longer do you think the baseball season is gonna last? Uh, like, four days. like today, like half of the Cardinals tested positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean and they, they, came... and then they said we're gonna play on Friday. Maybe Remember the... when the NBA had one player test positive and they're like, we're done. It depends. Like, how quick can they get a, a warm can of flat ginger ale out to all those guys? Because that'll set them straight. It was just the funniest headline I've ever read. Like, oh, 13 million, million billion test positive for COVID, and uh, they plan to start games on Friday. Oh, yeah, did you see the gif of the coach with the mask? Oh, my I God. I did not, was, actually. He was getting interviewed in the dugout, and he had a mask on. And he took the mask off, coughed into the dugout, and put the mask back on. <laughs> what? It is one of the best, dumbest gifts I've ever seen of any human being. Oh my god! Like he what? He was not joking. He literally just like didn't want to cough into the mask. Well, because then he had to smell his own breath. Mm -hmm. Which he was just licking assholes with. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but your breath stinks after you do it. Well, those they're athletes too, so sweating yeah. down there. Holes, sweaty buttholes. That's what you can call them now. The St. Louis sweaty buttholes. <laughs> Sounds like a quiplash <laughs> answer that would get 80% of the votes. Seattle sweaty buttholes. Mm. He's they like, need a team name. I do, how, I do like how in football, the Patriots went from, you know, one of the best teams in the league to literally pretty much having no players now. Mm, they'll probably be tied for first in the NFL this season. I would be impressed because, like, 10 of their players have already opted out of the season. I just mean I think they're going to be 0-0.
Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Dude, Raptors beat the Lakers. I did see that as well. But I would Malv I got a problem with Toronto sports media. Oh, I do too. Well, that's fair. Uh, if anybody would have a problem with it, it honestly should be you. But I do have a problem as well, because all the ads that air here for the Raptors are like, we've got to defend this house. we got to defend the North. And I'm like, we're not part of this. We're the North. Yeah, but like... They're Canada's team, bro. Eh, I take exception to it. You know, back if the Grizzlies were still around, then I, I get you. Leave us out of it. Can no. Houston have a hockey team now, by the way? Does what? Can Houston have a hockey team now? No, because now, I mean... Oh, Dallas. Well, I mean, Seattle. Yeah, Seattle just took spot 32, so you're going to have to wait yeah. for the next wave, which will probably never happen. Also, they said when Dallas, when Tyler Sagan can actually hit the net, then, then Houston <laughs> can, have a, can have a team. I still find it very amazing that the literal, like, fourth largest market in the country doesn't have a hockey team. Why does Dallas have one? Legit question. Why does Dallas? I don't not. know. Dallas, Dallas is big too. So they got Fort Worth because Dallas is basically two cities in one. When you talk about Dallas, you always talk about Dallas, Fort Worth. Hold on, I'm focused. Um, I mean, I think it would be cool if Houston got a team, but I also, I mean, if if Houston's NHL interest is contingent on getting a team, then I don't know if you put a team there. You know what I mean? I mean, I, isn't that literally every city's interest in getting a team, though? Well, I mean, they put teams in, like, some of the southern markets. And, like, some Wait, of them... Why, are, do, uh, Miro, why does Arizona have a team? I'm gonna be honest. I, I honestly... Yeah, a people, then. It is, like, a marketing thing, but I feel bad even saying it, because, like, Arizona fans get shit on with the same joke, like, every single time they mention their Arizona fans. That's a game. Isn't it, like, it is actually the way the to the rinks? Because, like, don't they have, like, the best, like... They probably have like pretty good concessions. Tickets are cheap. Oh yeah, sure. It Congrats. is the fastest growing market the past few years. As long as you don't like uh, watching your team win, it's a pretty good stadium to be into. Dude, I picked Dude. Arizona to, to beat the Preds. I think they got a they got a chance. How many people from Phoenix do you think are actually from Phoenix though? Austin Matthews is from Scottsdale, right? Mm. All right, so you got one. Yeah, but like he's pretty good, so he gets like a lot of people riled up. And he grew up watching uh, the Coyotes. So where does he play? Toronto. That's not fair. He got drafted there. But that's where the the beautiful uh, the rumor mill goes. Like he only signed a five year contract. Are you kidding me? He's gonna he's gonna sign with Arizona for two million when it's up. And oh, the Leafs. Kyle Dubas is gonna look like an idiot. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I got, I got lost in the tunnel for a bit. POV, you are pooping the toilet. Where'd you guys finish on this one? I, don't, I, didn't I already got the author medal, so I don't bother. Yeah, but on this one. I haven't finished in the glass. Oh, this one I got 57. I didn't All finish. Right. Oh, I was going to say, wait, I, I got 46. I thought that was, that was last because I didn't even start. <laughs> you didn't even start? Uh, I was eating the spaghetti, dude. <laughs> Hanging no. Gardens! No. Scott. I love it. No, do not no, skip no, this track. Hanging Gardens, let's go. It's a good track. Air turn, baby. I wish I had spaghetti eat during this track. Here's Actually, a... I made some angel hair today, so I technically do, but it's just all the way Is that like code Bro. for something? Skinny, skinny spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So, like, I don't know the science of drink packets. But I do this. So go on. Okay, well, maybe you can explain this phenomenon that's happening. They changed their Probably. formula because a it tastes different, um, and b what, so in the past when you poured the drink into the top of the water Pour bottle or packet, oh, um, it would like crystal light. It was basically yeah, and it, it, it kind of like collected at the top and it would slowly like go down into the drink and absorb into the water, and then you'd shake it and you know absorb everything. Good. The, now you pour it in, the whole thing clumps up immediately and just sinks to the bottom. The water stays perfectly clear, and you have to like shake it for about 600 years to get it to actually disperse into the drink. It's awful. Oh yeah, recently you, they removed uh, the cornstarch that allowed it to agglomerate better. I didn't know I if you, you didn't read the news. I heard they added more hops. They recently added more hops as well. 
worst part is that even once you've shaken it, the little clumps stay at the bottom, and if you get that on your tongue, it's the worst tasting thing ever. But isn't that the stuff that you put in it to make it Yeah, but good? it's so concentrated yeah, it that when you bad. actually yeah, taste it, it's so unbelievably flavorful that you it's just, bad. You don't want to be freebasing rocks of crystal light. <laughs> Why? It's yeah. aspartame, dude. It's so sweet. Add more water. That's what he's yeah, trying add to do. Add, but add more. Add, it's a yeah. water bottle. I can't just put more water. Compress in the, water, the water, water. I don't understand. That's water is not this. compressible. You put it in a compressor, dude. You can't compress water. It's just a Minecraft recipe, okay? I was dead ass gonna say make ice, but that is not how that works. <laughs> Isn't water like one of the only things that is un, un, you can't compress? It. Well, it's like it's as a solid, it's larger than it is as a liquid. Uh, yeah, it expands when you freeze it. I know that. It's fucking weird, right, dude? I don't know. Your butt expands. Not when you freeze it. Yes, huh? Yes, huh? Because it's got so much water in it, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> water butt. Don't call me a water. Water butt. butt. You're a water <laughs> butt. You're a water <laughs> butt. You're a water butt. <laughs> Water butt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Popping toast? Nah, Kate's, uh, she's doing some dishes. In the toaster? Yep. She's <laughs> washing <Yes>. our bread. <laughs> <laughs> they asked if you were making toast. Thank you! It's finally, someone sticks up for me. My wife said, tell Josh to be nicer to you. No. <laughs> yeah, like he's gonna listen water to you. Water butt. Stop calling me a water butt. It's very a good burn. It is a good burn. That's why I don't want to be called it anymore, but I do want to use it against other people. <laughs> <laughs> water burn. Ruka, come here, water butt. <laughs> this cat, he's, he's lost his mind, dude. He's, he's too Why? nervous now, like anytime uh, the doorbell rings, he actually scrambles like, I don't even know, like, like a, a yeah, like an air raid siren goes off. I'm like, when did this cat get so nervous? He's a scaredy cat. Yeah, but like, I don't know, maybe it's much like adults that get more afraid of the boogeyman as they get older. What? That's not... Well, it is true, they get less scared of monsters, but more scared of like, you know... <laughs> the boogeyman? That, yes. <laughs> oh, you mean John Wick? <laughs> I'm talking about Baba Yaga, specifically. He's talking about the government. I'm talking about the government, or, you know, George Soros, or, you know, you oh, get the, the real idea. government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shadow government that lives in the Earth's core. John, mm -hmm. Wick? John Wick? John Wick. John, I mean, I'd be scared shitless of John Wick. But you would be mad at you, man. Well, yeah, John, like, John Wick would probably be, like, we'd be maybe best friends, because I, yeah. I wouldn't be rude to him on, like, everybody Yeah, I wouldn't be, he wouldn't be, kill his dog. I would definitely yeah, what if not you had a contract him. on you? He don't care. Yeah, I think we'd be friends. Well, we'd John, be John Wick, prior to the events of the movie, would probably kill me if he had a contract. But John Wick, during the events of the movie, would not, because that's he's out of the game. Until he gets sucked back in once more. Hmm. Yeah, and he doesn't, have, he doesn't accept any contracts. I love that shit about John Wick. You, you know, John Wick's, like, enjoying, like, a nice little, like, lunch or something like that. Then some dude knocks on his door, opens up a briefcase, and there's, like, some kind of gold medallion in it. And you're like, oh, shit, here we go again. And mm -hmm. then you're like, what the fuck's going on with this shit? And they're like, Mr. Wick, do you remember Sarajevo, 1991? And then Keanu Reeves is like, I told you, I don't do that anymore. But then he's also, like, he still plays by the code. He's like, don't make me do this they're like sorry senor wick <laughs> dude they should do like a matrix bill and ted john wick like uh cross path they should movie that would be good right. that would be very very that good. would be good stuff we could do one no more track. way wild stallions <laughs> Ooh. i just can't well you know john wick four Someone's uh, Carrie Ann Moss is gonna knock on his door holding like a platinum hourglass. She's gonna twist like two dials and a bunch of shit's gonna fall into place and start like a Rube Goldberg machine. You're gonna be like, oh shit. I forgot that there's three John Wicks. He's getting sucked back in. What the? Wait, is there three John Wicks? There's three John yes. Wicks. That's so crazy. Why the hell are we back here again? Hell yeah. Route 66, baby. 
No, I'm on fucking point of view. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on ice. Really? I'm on ice. Ice. I'm ice on Route Pearl. 66, baby. Maybe if you came third on Route 60 or on uh, ice level last time, they wouldn't make you take the course over again. Maybe. Whatever. Let's just finish this one anyway, and then. This is a fun course. We're not on it. Yeah, I know, but like yours is good too. In fact, yours might even be better. I love John Wick, dude. Me too. It's so good. It's really is good. It, is it really John Wick or is it Keanu? I, it's the John Wick films combined with Keanu. Yeah. I'm really it's glad we live in an era of like thinking people's action films. You think John Wick is a thinking people? Yeah, it's, 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 it's got, more sophisticated it, it, than it into skull. Yeah, uh, that's there's way not, more I love thinking. It, but there's not much thinking involved in that. I think that's needlessly reductive. Go back and look at action movies that came out between like 1995 and 2000. There's a couple of classics, but a lot of them are just like yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger just gets like a machine gun and just starts mowing Frickin people down. Mad Max Fury Road. That came go. out in 2015. Didn't you say between 2015? <laughs> Yeah, what'd you say, Ryan? That's, I, I think I must have said between 2000 and 15. <laughs> like, they're, they're well choreographed. They're choreographed like a Bob Fosse musical. There's, I, I, there's I, I, genuine okay. artistry, but I think because there's guns, people go like, herp derp, uh, where's my feelings? No, but like, what do you actually have to, I'm not saying they're bad, because I love them, but what do you have to think about? Well, you don't you have just, to think to like, I'm puzzle it, but enjoy it. it's like, it's sophisticated in the way that it's constructed, is what I mean. I don't mean you have to be like, hmm, I wonder what John Wick's motivation is. But I mean, like, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's much more than like, oh, John Wick, uh, you know, hey, he walks into a room and just blows 17 people away with a grenade launcher. Right, his dog got he killed. and blows, then he blows 17, 17 people. <laughs> There's more to it than that. Right, he also really liked the car. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's an action movie bias. No, I love him. I love all movies. I do but everybody that Cino, says man, that they the love weekend. action, love everybody that says they love action movies has been conditioned by a society, which we live in, um, to say, like, I apologize, but, you know, I know it makes me look bad, but I really liked this action movie. I don't, I'm done apologizing. Apologize? I'm done apologizing for that I don't apologize. I've never, what have I ever apologized for, like, You're in a movie? Canadian. I'm freaking ready to rumble, and you guys are like, oh, the stupid movie You now. should apologize for liking that. And you should apologize for sharding so much. <laughs> Water butt. <laughs> God damn it. I'm a whammy. I can't believe he even, he worked in a shard and a water butt simultaneously. <laughs> this motherfucker. That's so good. You're Holy like the John water. Wick of insults. <laughs> I think so. We pivot. It's the hat. I hold the Ford. Really? No. I'm still on Route 66 for a minute and 46 seconds. Really? Well, yeah. We're not the one who got yeeted, so... Yeah, I'm gonna eat myself. You can eat yourself, but wait a minute and 46 seconds. I gotta get the studio ready anyway. What does that mean? To be uh, Alex Trebek. What does that mean? Uh, Alex Trebek! Alex Trebek! <laughs> Alex Able Trebek. Talks. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek in... Alex Galchen Trebek. Yeah. Alex Traducken. Yo, that's when you have an Alex Trebek for Thanksgiving. Hmm. You guys gonna buy his uh, autobiography? No. It just came out. I don't care. Oh, wow, you must be cool. You don't care. I don't. Like, what do I want <laughs> Josh to write my biography. All right. Very, all right. So once upon a time, there was this dude, and his name was Malf, and he was Malf. pretty fucking kick-ass. Malf, oh. the story of Yins. Ghost written by <laughs> Jay Smith OTI. No, I don't want to go. Uh, Josh is. I want future Josh to write it. You know what? Most books have a foreword. If you let Josh write your book, it'll only be four words. It'll, it'll have a five <laughs> word. <laughs> All right, Yins, come on, sit down. I got a story to tell you, little bastards. So there is this guy, and he was from Canada. Don't ask me where, but. Way back okay. when I was just a little bitty boy living in a box in a under box. the stairs. <laughs> from the house across the street from Jerry's bait shop. You know the place. Way back when, when I was a little boy to age 32. I used to sell bait. He did. Some might say he was a master at it. 
I was pretty good. The thing that sucked is we <laughs> kept it in the fridge, like downstairs. So somebody like, can I get a dozen worms? And you'd be like, All right, I guess let me just walk 50 feet each way well, who, into the fridge. Who the, the fuck's fault is that? Yeah, it's your job. If you're selling it, my bosses. It's not. I would have put it in the fridge up there, but people were all like, "Ew, what are these worms doing next to my Pepsi?" Oh. <laughs> Which I get. I, I get their point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have definitely mistake again. I have definitely gone to uh, a convenience store and purchased a styrofoam cup of worms from the cold drink section to eat it. Yep. Well, you you use the worms. You can eat them right away, or you can use them to catch fish, which are a little. Or tastier. you do the old one for you, one for me kind of thing. <laughs> one for the fishing rod, and one for the money, two for the fish. I want to be green. Ooh. Now, if you can join on me, I am on me. Do I have to be over on the other side? You don't have to be. Makes the cameraman's job a little easier, but. I mean, I want to make the cameraman's job a bit easier. How do I leave a seat? I can Table. move you. Just move me, dude. Just fucking move me. PQRS tabletop. I'm got I like this background. It's Jeopardy. No, I, I'm I, in. I know. Like I, I feel like I'm in South America. Is Welcome to Jeopardy. Please wait for the host. Uh, what is Northern Lion? <laughs> fucking oh, <laughs> he's right, dude. That's the one. Um, does, space, does space bar work to buzz in? Or a, you... I think you gotta maybe click the button that looks oh, like a policeman's helmet. But use first, this yeah, click move to center. Click move first to put it in the center of your screen. Literally, I'm gonna give you like a three second tutorial for this and you're gonna thank me. But One, you're gonna be mad when yeah. I'm talking. But if three. you, okay. So here's the tutorial. I'm gonna read the whole question and oh, then gosh. I get to click a button that's unlock buzzer and then you can buzz in. The lights around the side of the board, like here and here, will change when the buzzers are unlocked. They'll kind of light up a little bit. Can you do a test? Um, I mean, I suppose I could. You're out of time to do the test, sorry. You're out of time. All right, um, cool. Uh, new game. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Uh, load Squirt. random and then it should be loading a game as we speak all right this is where you i will 12 yes. letter words you I'll can have new york city for a thousand you do get to pick first but first uh this is jeopardy a wannabe botanist from toronto ontario michael fox yins from steel town usa josh smith DoorDash enthusiast from Houston, Texas, Apollo Dumb Dog, and as always, I am your host. Uh, I mean, you can just scroll down and see who I am. Water butt. <laughs> you, you, as the purveyor of the insult, you will have control of the board after I reveal the categories. Twelve letter words. State capitals. Economics. In this category, we'll be asking questions about the science of economics. New York City. Clean four-letter words. And feminism. Oh, shit. I eagerly await the results of this category. <laughs> I'll take feminism for 200. This pun on the word history is the title of a 1995 book about women who changed the world. Josh. What is her story? That's the one. Y'all. You have control. Uh, I'll take... I was going to say sister. <laughs> take <laughs> cap... oh, yeah. I'll take state capital for 200, please. Until 1875, its dual capitals were New Haven and Hartford. Michael A.L. Fox. Where is Connecticut? That is correct. Your board. Let's go with state capitals for 400, sir. This New Mexico town is the oldest city that's a state capital. You Yankees know this? 
No. What is Santa Fe? Santa Fe, ah. New Mexico? Mouth, you have control of the board still. Let's go with economics for 200, sir. Economists say if the rate of this is 2 or 3% a year, it's normal. If it's galloping, it's bad. Michael A. What Fox. is interest? Not the one. What is inflation? Oh, inflation. Now if you right. retain control of the board. That's gone. So good. New York City for 200, please. The answer. Don't worry. There are only 15 fires and 38 felonies a day along their 237 miles of track. Michael. What is the subway? That's correct. Wow. Really? I thought that was the dumb answer. I, I thought, thought I was, was an idiot if I said that. You should have said it. I'll take clean words, clean four-letter words for 200, Alex. <laughs> Meaning free from dirt or taint. It's used in describing food and drug laws. Mouth. What is safe? Nope. No? Okay. You took my money. <laughs> <laughs> What is pure? Pure. What is pure? Your board still. Well, let's go with clean four-letter words for 400. <laughs> Dial and Zest are four-letter brands of this. Josh? Oh, what is one. soap? That's the one. I, I, had, I have Dial soap in my freaking bathroom, dude. <laughs> let's do New York City for 400, please. The answer. In burlesque, it was the usual answer to the tourist question, how do I get to Carnegie Hall? Mouth. What is voulez vous coucher avec moi ce soir? No, that is incorrect and uh, <laughs> I believe a joke. I believe that's a joke from Lady Marmalade, Josh or Apollo. What is practice? Oh. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. I get it. I get it. That's you know. <laughs> New York City for 600, please. It's the Whoa. Daily Double. Oh, shit. As always, though you only have 600, you get to wager between 0 and 1,000. He's wagered 1,000 to make it a true Daily Double. Your clue. True daily Double. It's the only borough not connected to Manhattan by a bridge. What is Staten Island? That's the one. I knew it. What happened? Let's go. <laughs> Did you knock your mic over? No, I just got up. <laughs> I was really excited. And it's your board. Oh, uh, let's do state capitals for 600, please. The answer. Crossing the Delaware on Christmas 1776, Washington defeated the Hessians at this New Jersey capital. Anyone? You guys actually not. I'm stupid. <laughs> That's Trenton, Trenton, New Jersey. Josh, I'm thinking Camden. State capitals, eight hundred. It's actually five thousand two hundred and eighty feet above sea level. Josh, what is Denver? That's the one. Nice. Uh, state capitals for a thousand, please. The name shows its founder, Roger Williams, believed God led him there. Josh? Would it Salt Lake City? Nope. Mal for Apollo? Mm -hmm. No idea. What is Providence? Providence, Rhode Island. Was like that guy. Who is the guy who is in Utah with the, with the Mormons? Joseph that? Smith. Mm. Who is Joseph Smith? You have control yeah. of the board. You should know uh, Josh. Feminism, 400, please. The answer. Title IX of a 1972 education law led to greater female participation in this activity in schools. Mouth? What is physical education? Could you be less specific? What is gym? What is phys ed? What? Judges? What is track? What we'll is... take it. The answer is what is sports? Oh, come, well, you come on. Mouth, you have control of the board. I don't like that shit. Thanks, no. judges. Let's go. Let's <laughs> you, don't get, go with you don't get a grade on words. Sports. It's a for badly written clue. All right, all right. Twelve letter words for two hundred, please. The answer: You can get a knish at a Jewish one, or mozzarella at an Italian one. Mm. 
Josh. The, what's a deli? Could you be more specific? Delicatessen? That's correct. Remember wow. the category, 12 letter words. Ooh, in this category, right. all of the answers will be 12 letters long. Ah, uh, he's right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Forgot about that part. Uh, I'll do feminism for 600, please. Reformer Lucy Stone is perhaps best remembered for refusing to do this when she got married in 1855. Josh? What is kiss her husband? That is absurd and incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> what is change her last name to her husband's last name? I don't think it's that uh, absurd in all the context. <laughs> you don't do that at the wedding, though. Oh, Josh, you re retain control. New York City 800, please. The answer. The oldest works of art in this newly remodeled museum on 53rd date only to the late 19th century C. <laughs> Josh. It was the Museum of Modern Art? That's correct. I thought that was in Chicago. Uh, New York City for 1,000, please. About 10 times a year, Kodak changes the 18 by 60 color transparency in the lobby of this New York City building. Josh. What's the Empire State? Nope. Building. What is 30 Rock? Nope. Apollo, care to try your luck? Absolutely not. The answer is Grand Central Station. Grand Central Station. Josh, uh, you retain control of the board. Let's do 12 letter words for 400. From Latin for repentance, San Quentin, for example. What is a penitentiary? 12 letters. Josh? 12 letter words, 600, please. The answer. Before 1934, the date for this was March 4th. After 1934, January 20th. Josh. What is the inauguration? Josh? What? Mouth? Wow. Well, you could have asked that. You could have answered. No you know table that, talk between the contestants. But we have these hey. dividers for a reason. 12 letter words for 800. From the Latin for bend the knees, not the cry of a ski instructor, but the act of showing reverence. Josh. What is acquiesce? Nope. <laughs> I appreciate the guess, though. <laughs> what is genuflection? Oh, of course. To bend the knee. Josh. Uh, Twelve letter words, a thousand. The answer. From the Greek for fire and craft, it's a fancy word for a fireworks display. Josh. What is pyrotechnics? That's correct. Oh. The category has been redeemed. It's your board. Um, feminism, 800, please. It passed Congress in the 1970s by a combined 438 to 31, but was never ratified by three quarters of the states. What is the Equal Rights Act? Equal Rights Amendment, sorry. Equal Rights Amendment. Josh? Round it off with feminism for a thousand. For a thousand. A heralded 1973 battle of the sexes ended 6-4-6-4-6-3 in her favor. You guys don't like movies, huh? Who is Billie Jean King? Female tennis pro, <laughs> Billie Jean King. Yeah, Alex Trebek got it. What do you, David, usually doesn't have exactly to come up with this many lines say, for people not I'm answering. Saying that you're doing a great job. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> usually is way more, that's the one, and way less. I know, Smart. I know. you're doing great. Okay. I oh, it's your that. board, it's your board. <laughs> Clean four letter words for 600. Everything will come out in this. Josh. What is wash? That's the one. I clicked the buzzer first, you cheater. <laughs> um, economics for 400. The answer. After deducting all your expenses from your gross profit, you're left with this. Mouth. What is profit? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, it's that one. This is net. 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 Josh? Mm -hmm. Economics for 600, please. Holders of this type of stock take precedence over common stockholders. Mouth? Who are shareholders? Not the one. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what are preferred stocks? Ah. Preferred stocks. Josh? Clean four letter words. For how much, sir? Oh, 800, <laughs> oh, please. Thank you, thank you. To polish or shine a floor or shoe. <gasps> what no. is buff? That's correct. Let's it's go. your board. I'll take clean four letter words for a thousand. Clean four letter words for a thousand. It means orderly and clean and is also used to order drinks without ice or water added. Josh? What is neat? That's correct. Two clues remain. Economics for 800. Economics for 800. This system is a direct exchange of goods or services without the use of money. Josh? What is credit? Nope. Mouth? What is barter? That's the one, and for a thousand. First American to win the Nobel Prize in economics, he's the author of a widely used college textbook. Mouth. Who is... I'm just going to stop. I'm going to be Adams. amazed if you get this correct. Sam Adams. <laughs> it's Sam Adams. It is not Sam Adams, but uh, you're closer than you'd think. It's John Adams. <laughs> it is Paul Samuelson. I knew it. That's the end of category one. Josh in first with 1,800. Apollo in second with zero. A bold <laughs> strategy that's actually paying <laughs> off. And Mouth in third with 1,400. Time to Ooh. see our it's not my a, money. There should our, be a time limit. Time to see our double jeopardy categories. All right. Oh yeah, let's go. Good categories. Space. Oh my god, I have a chance. <laughs> Name the sport. <laughs> I have a chance. Quasi related pairs. In this category, we will give you two things that will be related quasi. <laughs> Government and politics. TV or not TV? <laughs> that is the question. And uh, prefixes. 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 Let's let's go with space for four hundred. Uh, oh yeah, you do get to go first. Sure. He, okay, space for four hundred. <clears throat> of twenty four thousand two hundred and forty thousand or two point four million, the one that's closest to the mean distance in miles between the moon and the earth. Mouth. What is 240,000? That's correct. It's your board. Please board. for 800, please. It's the colossal booster rocket that lifted the Apollo missions to the moon. Oh, ah. Oh, oh, uh, uh. What is the Saturn rocket? Uh. Mouth. <laughs> Well, space for 1,200, please. The answer. The Ariane launch, the Ariane launch vehicle is used predominantly by this organization, abbreviated the ESA. Mouth. Uh, who or what is the European Space Agency? That is correct. You're bored. Space for 1,600, please. Your flair for astronomy will help you name this solar feature that lasts longer than a solar flare. Mouth. What is a lunar flare? Nope. Oh. I don't know if that is. That's maybe not a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a thing. What is a solar prominence? It's on the moon. <laughs> uh, the moon hits your eye <laughs> like a <laughs> lunar flare. That's. Oh. You know what? You miss 100% of shots you don't take. I Let's go space it. for 2,000. Space for 2,000. It's a oh. daily double. Though you have negative $1,400, you may wager anywhere between zero and $2,000. He's wagering 2000 Your clue is 
very long. Sophia of the Clue Crew hangs out with a probe replica at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In 1995 on Jupiter, this craft, named for a scientist, made the first direct measurements of a giant planet's atmosphere. What is Cassini? The wrong one. What is Galileo? Fudge! Oh. Galileo, but it's still your oh. board. Oh, my digital net worth. <laughs> it is Let's go to V or not to V for TV or not TV. My four daughters, my three sons, my two dads. What? Josh? What is not TV? Um, I think the show, the category is name the one that's not a real TV show. <laughs> so I'll give you another crack at that. What is my three sons? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Mouth? What is my three sons? Nope. <laughs> I didn't hear him. I thought he said daughters. <laughs> what is my four daughters? Oh my god, that's the one I thought he said. Mouth? <laughs> Let's do TV or not TV for 800. The answer. My mother the car, his gal Shirley, or your show of shows. What? Josh? What is my mother the car? Nope. Mouth? What is your show of shows? No. Apollo, this is it! What is his gal Shirley? That's correct! He's on hey! the board! <laughs> wow, coward. TV or not TV for 12 months. Here we go. The Rat Patrol, Horse Squad, Duck Man. Mouth? What is horse squad? That's correct. You get control of the board. Uh, prefix is 400. It's often found in front of marine sandwich. Mouth? What, it, what is sub? That's correct. Is there anything preventing me from just beating the shit out of this buzzer button? Uh, yes. <laughs> I can't pre-buzz. It, it might lock you out for a second if you buzz before the lights come on. Which is probably hindering you a little bit. Let's he, take name the sport for 400. He's mad, I can tell. Name the sport for 400. Four teammates, a safety zone, a 40-yard mark, goal posts. <sighs> what is polo? Curling? What is polo? Uh, Josh. Mouth. That was curly. Let's go main the sport 800. Carpet, hazards, a windmill, a castle. Apollo? What, what is mini golf? That is correct. Mm -hmm. It's your mm -hmm. board. 1200? 11 teammates, a center circle, a penalty area, a goal. Apollo? What is hockey? Nope. Oh, it's the other one. Josh? What is soccer? That's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I clip buzzed. <laughs> Josh, you're bored. Name the sport for 1600, please. The answer is six teammates, a center line, a blue line, a crease. Mouth. What is hockey? That's correct. Well, could you be more specific? Just kidding. What is ice hockey? <laughs> All right, it's your board. <laughs> uh, we'll finish off sports. For 2000. Four teammates, a house, a hog line, a T line. And that one you said earlier is curling. I like curling. I didn't know they had That's a hog curling. line. What the fuck's the hog line? <laughs> it's your, I swear, your mom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is your board. Alex! Let's go. <laughs> Prefix is 800, please. Helico refers to a spiral and helio to this. What is the sun mouth? It's true. Prefix is 12. The answer. Tetra, as seen in the words tetrapod and tetralogy, refers to this number. Mouth. What is four? That's the one. Prefix is 1600. The prefixes hem, hem, hemo, and hemo all refer to this. 
Josh? What is blood? That's the one. Prefixes for 2000. Good job, brother. It comes before light, sound, and violet. Mouth. What is ultra? He's done it. What the hell is ultralight? Well, you don't know it? <laughs> no. It's like an airplane. Ultraviolet light, you know? But that was another choice. Mm. It's a little It's a little airplane. Let's do quasi-related oh. pairs for 400. Quasi-related pairs for 400. Lolita actor James and psychic Gene. You guys are fucked. <laughs> What are Mason and Dixon? Oh, my. <laughs> wow. You should just get these out of the way. <laughs> a bit quicker. Yeah, let's go for 800. Just Isn't it Josh's suffer. pick? <laughs> oh, no, it's yours. It's yours. No. Yeah, no. all right. An Academy Award and a famous cartoon cat. Josh. Skur and Garfield? Nope. Who are Oscar and Felix? The the odd couple. You know what? Government and politics, 400. <laughs> is, it the, is that the odd couple? He was the first living president to appear on U.S. paper money on a $10 demand note authorized in 1861. Mouth. Was President Jackson? Nope. Andrew Jackson? Tom Hanks? Not the one. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Abraham Lincoln? Now you what? remain in control of the board. Oh, is Andrew Jackson? What is he on? All right, let's go, government. <laughs> 800. In 1988, this Democrat was reelected to the U.S. Senate from Texas. Apollo? I didn't know he was elected <laughs> Democrat in 1988. Who is Lloyd Benston? Lloyd Benson. <laughs> Who's on everybody's... Uh, Tip of everybody's tongue, I'm sure. Mouth, you're bored. TV or not TV, 1600, please. The answer. Men into space, men behaving badly, or men of La Mancha. Go for it, Josh. No, I'm winning. What is men of La Mancha? Not a TV show. Not a TV mm. show. Mouth? Let's finish for 2000. It's another daily double with 1,400. Daily double. You can wager between 0 and 2,000. He will wager. He's going for broke, although if you're in the negatives, you can't play Final Jeopardy. So. You think I care? <laughs> <laughs> Make him pay. Make me laugh. Make the grade. Uh, what is make him pay? He's done it, dude. He got it. Baby. All right, let's go government politics 12, Hondo. The Constitution originally held that untaxed members of this ethnic group were not to be counted in the census. Who are American Indians? Mouth? Go 1600. The answer. He was appointed to the Supreme Court by LBJ in 1965, but resigned in 1969. <laughs> you guys are going to kick yourselves for this one. Who, nah, is, who is the I, Honorable I, I, Abe Fortas? Of course. Did the, you know that one, Ryan? The water ass. Yeah, I don't need to know that one. I can see the answer. Mouth? 2000. Let's get her done. At this president's treasury... As this president's treasury secretary, Henry Morgenthau supervised the spending of some $370 billion without scandal. Who is FDR? The Fire Dr. Department H. of Rochester. Mouth? 12 hundo. Sodium chloride, for example, and a park at the southern tip of Manhattan. What is assault and battery? Oh, <laughs> clever. Mouth? 1600. A postgraduate degree and Lithgow's male offspring. What is Masters and John's son? Whatever the hell that means. John Lithgow. Oh, I get. Okay, that's stupid. 
a song on a CD, and a chosen area of study. This one's doable. Apollo. What is track and field? That's correct. Oh, that's good. All job, right. Man. We'll now move into Final Jeopardy. Your category is... This is NPR. We'll see you after the breaks. You have to... Now you would make your wagers, and it goes... Dan, 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 dan. All right. All wagers have been submitted. Why do I still have a submit button? All wagers have been submitted. Your question. Your. Yeah. Yeah. Your question. It's my yeah. question. My question? Tell me my question, Trebek. My sandwich. <laughs> Error. <laughs> Okay, well, just 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 hold on a second. Um, this what's is, coming out like what's above like the second R? This has never yeah. happened before. Uh, <laughs> you see yeah, anything above? Weird, right? No, it's like a bullet coming out of this thing. I just see a, a normal error oh, word. <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, it's like the air is pooping upside down. <laughs> so is that the question? <laughs> oh, oh, well, <laughs> that was that was me. Uh, Apollo, can you change your wager, please, to, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you do, like, Wait. negative Apollo? No, I did zero. I think, I think you just, just make it one. Okay. And nobody else changed anything, and then hit submit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't do it. <sighs> the final Jeopardy question is, this is NPR. Show final question. Error. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click this new game button, and whoever get one, whoever gets it right, wins. Oh, all right, it's a three way tie. Dun 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 no! dun dun dun. <laughs> Money, dun. let's go. <laughs> winner, winner, winner. All right. So that's Jeopardy. Do you want me to be a host and you play Ryan? Please no. Why not? I mean, I would love, I'd love to be in contestants. Row. Apollo, you want to be the guy who asked the questions? No, I just didn't want to play against Ryan. Oh, it'll be fun. You can go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly joking. Oh, okay. How do I be host? I will move you to teal. Move myself to white, and then you're gonna hit new game and load random. First of all, Chad, look. I gotta look in the mirror. I'm looking good. <laughs> That's him right there. That's him right there. Oh, that, I wish I hadn't put that arrow there. <laughs> so I got You said click uh, menu, new game. New game, not from the menu though. Oh, sorry. Just at the buttons that are on your. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then load random. Oh, there he, there he goes. You, re you really wrote nerd on my, <laughs> on my, on my, on my podium, huh? That's. Uh, I had to get one in before oh, we random. start the play. And then... Uh, uh, can you can you load again? Because we've had types of aircraft. I think you might have to do new game load random. Okay. New game. And when you're playing, which perspective do you look from? From, like, the player's perspective? Or That's like... what I did, yeah. Okay. And you just click the clue to send it, and you click uh, the check mark or the X that'll show up on their name. If they got it right or wrong. And the answer shows up in the chat in the bottom left. Uh, do I got to load new again? You may. You okay. may. Does this look good? Art for the sake... These look good or do I got to... Ryan. I don't think we've had those before. I think that okay. looks good. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Alex Trebek. <laughs> Today, we've got one Canadian and two Yankees. We've got Apollo. What's up, Apollo? How you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, right. good. We've got <laughs> Joshua. Hello, sir. What's it like in Pittsburgh? Hi, it's good. All right, and water butt. How are you doing <laughs> over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to host. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, I'm water butt. <laughs> All right, how do I pick who goes first? Is it randomly or? It's usually the person in the rightmost seat. No, it's actually it's usually the person in the leftmost seat chooses. All first. right. Sir Apollo, please, would you do the honors? And uh, oh, I've got to name off the categories. First, we've got art for art's sake. We've got the shield. Curtains. Same first and last letter. TV. Who played them? Oh, no. And. It's all about her. Now, please. With, uh, curtains for 200. Curtains for 200. You have got it. The appearance of a performer at the end of a show in response to applause. And then you click the unlock button? Unlock. What is a curtain call? Where do I see the answer? In the chat in the bottom left. I mean, if it's ah. not there, you might have to click the speech bubble. I saw it. He got it right. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's do TV who played him for 200. You got it. Harry Hooperman and Paul Hennessy. It's not as contemporary as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer John was Ritter. John Ritter. Uh, TV who played him for 400, please. Let's go. Oscar Madison and Quincy M. E. Jack uh, Klugman. Jack Klugman. Uh, for 600, please. Alex P. Keaton and Michael Flaherty. Who is Michael J. Fox? That is correct. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Josh takes control Eight. of the board. This is exciting stuff. 800, please. <laughs> oh! That's your daily double. Please, you may wager as much as you want. Well... Up to a thousand, right? <laughs> Up to a thousand, yes, sir. All right, now. Oh fuck! Why did I do that? Wait, can I take it I... back? I don't <laughs> know. No, I can't. You gotta I'm click uh, "Show Daily Double Clue." It's at the bottom, bottom buttons, near unlock buzzer. Show Double Jeopardy show. Near the button, near your unlock buzzer button, on the bottom of your monitor. Oh, 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 oh okay. There we go. Matt Santos and Victor Cifuentos. Cifuentos. Who is <laughs> Robert Downey Jr.? He's correct. Oh, Jimmy shit. Smits Jimmy is Smits. the answer. Jimmy Smits. Jimmy Smits from Baxter. I, I don't know why I <laughs> did so much. <laughs> okay. Joshua, please. Another. Uh, TV who played him. Let's kill it. Peg Bundy and Kate Hennessy. Who is uh, Katie Siegel? Judges. <laughs> Judges. <I know. laughs> Close yeah. enough. It is Katie Sagal, S A G A L. <laughs> but we'll let you have it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, All right. uh, Let's do first and last letter for 200, please. The speedometer's sight. What is the dashboard? Correct. Good job. For 400, please. Thank you, Alex. Sophia and the Clue Crew reports from behind a desk. This used to be a bigger part of the school's... curriculum. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened there? <laughs> Did you <laughs> unlock the buzzers right off the bat? I did. Is that bad? Yeah, yes. You're supposed to wait when you're done reading the question. You okay? You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I you guys the... could read faster than me. You might want to buzz in. With this, man. Four, four, six hundred, please. <laughs> <laughs> a two-word term for a type of group. Ours is discussing the lovely bones next Tuesday. What is a book club? Correct. For 800, please. 
it said that this type of reversal is fair play. What is turnabout? Correct. For a thousand, please. Okay. Word for Ted Kennedy's politics, a generous serving of food or a city in Kansas. What is liberal? Oh, certainly. <laughs> well, he's cleared it. Next, uh, next, please pick another category. Uh, curtains for 400, please. Mm-hmm. Okay. 1939 movie that included the line, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. What is the Wizard of Oz? Oh, he's, he's got host correct. advantage. For 600, please. <laughs> Game show that asked, would you like the box or what's behind the curtain? Carol's pointing to. What is let's make a deal? Correct. For 800, please. Song that begins, and now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. What is my way? That's correct. And for bonus a, points if you know who it's by. For Frank Sinatra. <laughs> uh, you don't get extra points, but uh, yes. Uh, for a thousand, please. This popular detective died in the 1975 bestseller curtain. Who is Poirot? Can you spell it for me? P O I R O T. I will allow it. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Judge. I don't know about you guys. I'm having a great time. Yeah, this seems fun. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Let's take the shield for 200, please. Monthly fees to groups of physicians for minors' health care evolved into this program in 1939. What is Blue Cross Blue Shield? I will allow it. It is Blue Shield. <laughs> for 400, please. All righty. Israel's National Emergency Medical Service. Ma Megan David Adam is this color shield of David what is blue that is incorrect you lose <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Apollo <laughs> I didn't it's true I didn't know if it was wrong or not <laughs> uh, let's do the shield for 600 <clears throat> my throat hurts from the old French it's the heraldic design on the shield seen here. What is the fleur de lis? Eh. What is seen here? Yeah, you just kind of have to imagine it. Oh. It was the chevron. Ah, oh, I mean, if we could have seen that, we would have. <laughs> uh, for 800, please. By law, this state seal shall be a shield argent charged with a pine tree with a moose at the foot of it. What is Vermont? Eh. Maine. Oh, you were, Where is you were Maine? way off. Maine, Maine, Maine. Uh, for a thousand, please. The shield of these Catholic knights founded in 1882 bears a sword and axe. Knights of Columbus. Of Columbus. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, let's do uh, It's All About Her for 200. Goodness had nothing to do with it. Hmm. <laughs> what? What? Who is May West? All right. Uh, for 400, please. <laughs> Condi. The life of a steel magnolia. <laughs> Who is Condoleezza Rice? These are the titles of autobiographies or biographies. Okay. It's all about her. For 600, yes. please. <laughs> Took her you long story. enough to figure that one out. <laughs> A woman named Jackie. Who is Jackie Kennedy Onassis? Correct. For 800, please. Clicked. The Downing Street Years. Who is Margaret Thatcher? For a thousand, please. Lady sings the blues. You don't know that one. <sighs> Who is Billy Holiday? Uh, and we'll do art for art's sake for two hundred, please. 
<laughs> it's the restored masterpiece seen here. A gathering of 13. Uh, what is the Last Supper? That's correct. He didn't even see it. <laughs> For Well, it's a gathering of 13. For 400, please. The 1660s <laughs> Batista, Tony Batista. Batista, <laughs> Batista Big portrait seen here may be of the man who followed Alexander the Seventh into this post. Um... What, what was the Pope, I assume? Correct. For, for 600, please. The innovative sculptor who created the smooching scene here. I don't see anything. <laughs> August T. Roden, the kiss? I don't uh, know. For 800, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dentist Byron... McKeeby of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, was immortalized in this 1930 painting along with the artist's sister. What is American Gothic? Correct. And for a thousand, please. In David's 1801 painting, Napoleon at the Great St. Bernard Pass, the general is crossing this mountain range. Where, was, what is the Alps? I was going to say the Urals. I know. I was going to say the Alps because I'm stupid. Now what? Uh, uh, next. Show, show, double, show Jeopardy. double Jeopardy. I've done it. All George. right. It's now time for your Double Jeopardy. We've got Gorge, which is really good in Umbra deck. Nature, New Year's resolutions, which time zone? African-American women and... That 20 yachts show. What? The it's like that 70s show, but about stuff from the 2000s. Okay, well, you control the board there, Mr. Loturno. <laughs> nope. Uh, Josh controls the board. Why does he do it? Because no. he's in last. Oh. No offense. Um, um, just... Let's do <clears throat> Gorge for 400, please. Discovered in 1806 by Zebulon Pike's expedition, the Royal Gorge is found in this state. What is Colorado? Could you please rephrase the question? Where is Colorado? Correct. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do uh, that 20 aughts show for 400, please. Uh, attempt to index a nil value. All right, uh, for 800 then? I'll, I'll just finish the category. All right. Um, let's He's do... He's got 9,000 points. He's cheating. Let's do um, New Year's resolutions for 400. I'll adopt a rescue dog instead of last year's heir, taking in this University of Michigan mascot. What is a bulldog? Incorrect. What's a wolverine? Correct. What? That's not even a dog. I know. That's what I was kind of confused. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, I was gonna buzz in. I was like, Wolverine. You can't adopt like, one of those. Because like Michigan, it's like Wolverines or you're like you're the Spartans or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyways, New Year's resolution eight hundred. I will journey to this continent to climb some of the Queen Maud Mountains, named for the Queen of Norway. I reckon it's Norway. What is Antarctica? Correct. Where could you re rephrase? Where is Antarctica? Correct. <laughs> uh, for 1,200, please. I want to be more scholarly. I will critique the large-scale structure of space-time by this physicist. Who is Hawking? Can I get a first name, please? Uh, who is Stephen Hawking? Correct. Usually on Jeopardy, you give the minimum amount of information to be strictly correct so you don't say their first name wrong and make yourself appear to be incorrect. But okay, sure, Alex. Uh, for 1600 please. This guy doesn't know how to say Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Water butt. <laughs> <laughs> I resolved to lose 50 pounds like Marie Osmond did using this diet program. Dan Marino lost 22. What is the Atkins diet? Incorrect. 
I've seen these commercials too, and I'm upset. Yeah. Nutri what is Nutrisystem? Is that where you just eat a bunch of Nutrigrain bars? No, no they like mail you stuff. Like microwave oh, okay. meals, yeah. Yeah. Nutrisystem. Uh, for 2,000, please. I'm going to read 100 books, including Deary, a biography of this woman who mastered the art of French cooking. Who is Julia Child? Surprised you didn't say who is Child. <laughs> 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 Her actual name is Julia Child. So. <laughs> uh, let's do which time zone for 400, please. Portland, Oregon. What is specific? Could right. you be more specific? What is specific? <laughs> that's, time that's zone. The specific answer. Could you be more Pacific? <laughs> um, Steven Pacific. Can we do which time zone for 800, please? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What is Eastern? Correct. Ah, oh, fucking Pittsburgh, you idiots! I live there. <laughs> you're, you're lucky this man unlocked <laughs> early. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you couldn't get it. Twelve hundred, please. Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah. What is Mountain? Correct. For sixteen hundred. Birmingham, Alabama. What is Eastern? Incorrect. What is Central? Correct. For 2,000, please. Quebec City, Canada. Eh? What is Eastern? Correct, sir. Ha ha, you don't live in Canada, you stupid idiots. Sorry. You didn't get it. Uh, I I gonna let's do African American me. women for 400, please. After her husband's death in 1968, she founded a center in Atlanta, Georgia for nonviolent social change. Who is King? Uh, Could you be more specific, please? No! no. <laughs> I think that's a, no, heavy, that's a heavy X on that one. To be honest. Why? Why? There's th I need there's three parts. King Junior. <laughs> Coretta that's Scott. Bullshit. Who is Coretta Scott King? Take African American women for eight hundred, please. How did I get that wrong? Uh, who is uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife? <laughs> so it's right. Her on you air said 50th the least birthday amount of information to be correct. Included guests Stevie Wonder, Tina Turner, and of course Stedman. Who is Oprah Winfrey? Correct. See how I did that? Uh, for twelve hundred, please. <laughs> That's such bullshit. <laughs> It's your daily double, sir. It's your daily double. Dude, Put it up to two million. Time it upside down. I I hate to do this. I'll wager two thousand, please, Alex. You what? are such. It, okay. it it doesn't even matter. It's the <laughs> I worst. Can't part. That you're I, such really, a garbage I actually fucking what don't. Like, fuck? While okay. Shirley Chrisholm represented New York in Congress, Barbara Jordan represented <laughs> this. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> While <gasps> Shirley Chisholm represented New York in Congress. Barbara Jordan represented this state. Uh, what is New Jersey? That is incorrect. Congress. It is. Where is Texas? Okay. Uh, for sixteen hundred, please. Before becoming an advisor to President <laughs> Bush, she served six years as provost of Stanford University. Who is Condoleezza Rice? Correct. Right. And for two thousand, please. When asked to describe herself, she says, first and foremost, she is Malia and Sasha's mom. Who is Michelle Obama? Correct. For two if she said Obama, would that be no? I believe that would be a no, yes. That would be a no, yeah. Why? Because there's more than one famous Obama. There's only one famous Hawking. There's like a trillion famous kings. How do you know? I'll take nature for 400, you know please. Oh, yeah, good, good choice. Grown on less than 1% of the land... Of the Netherlands, it's their living symbol. Uh, what is the tulip? Correct. For 800, please. I'll just let you read that word, including humans <laughs> are eaters of this kind of fungus. What are mushrooms? Correct. 1200, please. The Viceroy mimics this poisonous royal butterfly's appearance to avoid predators. What is the monarch butterfly? You have yes. to wait till you finish your sentence <laughs> before you allow the beeps to come in, Mouth. 
<clears throat> uh, for sixteen hundred, please. The most common one found in the home is mus musculus, which may be where Walt got the initials. What is mold? Incorrect. Apollo. What is a mouse? Correct, sir. Where Walt got it? Walt, Walt Disney, Disney, right? I was thinking of Walter White, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, nature for two thousand. <laughs> From Arabic, ma ma's masim, <clears throat> meaning season. It's the wind which changes direction with the seasons. I was thinking monsoon. What is monsoon? Monsoon. Uh, gorge for eight hundred. Along its two hundred seventy-seven mile length, it's it ranges in width from one tenth of a mile to eighteen miles wide. Joshua? Grand Canyon. Can we rephrase the question. <laughs> answer. Where is the Grand Canyon? Correct. That shit's 277 <laughs> miles long? Quite yeah, long. Yeah, dude. I thought it was almost, like... A, it's half the size of my dick. I thought it was a mile long. <laughs> really? Genuine. I thought, like, you just go there and it's like... There right. it is. Right. It's, it's the Grand Canyon, not... A the mile canyon. is still a large <laughs> it's canyon. It's like canyon. Canyon. <laughs> from space. It's just canyon. I, I'm, the rest if you had asked me to approximate its size, I would have said maximum 10 miles. I would have said, like, Colorado. Sure. It's huge. Uh, Gorge for 1,200, please. The Breck de Roland. Roland. A narrow French gorge in these mountains leads into a large natural amphitheater. What are the Alps? Incorrect. Oh, it's the other one. Ah, yes, the other one. It's a dang Pyrenees, dude. It is the dang Pyrenees. At Alps and Pyrenees in this. Uh, 1600. The ruin of this terraced Inca city lie perched above the Ur Urubamba River Gorge in the Andes Mountains. What is Tenochtitlan? Incorrect. Where is Machu Picchu? I thought that was Dude, the name was... of the building. This gorge in uh, Tanzania <laughs> was made Tanzania. famous by the work of the archaeologists Louis and Louis and Mary Leakey. What is the Great Rift Valley? Incorrect. What an idiot. <laughs> what is the Olduvai Gorge? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now what do I do? Uh, show final. final category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Houdini. The final Jeopardy category is Houdini. Please make your wagers no more than a million. Are they all submitted? I need a... Oh, sorry. There you go. All wagers have been submitted. And now I show final question. Yes. Error. An early Ghostbuster, Houdini fell out of fell out with this detective novelist, a former friend and advocate of spiritualism. Dun 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 Please Wait, submit, did... your... submit your freaking answers. I don't know if I, I hit enter, I don't know if that deletes it. I think as what. long as it's just in there, it's okay. Just type okay. it in there and and you're all good. Pencils up, please. Thank you. Are you good to go? Y yeah, I mean you're the boss. Alright. Do I start with the the lowest person first? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Joshua. Yeah. Your answer to this question, an early Ghostbuster Houdini fell out of with this detective novelist, a former friend and advocate of spiritualism, who is Ackroyd, Ackroyd. 
As Daniel. in <laughs> Daniel Aykroyd. That is correct. Yes. No way. Yeah. That is incorrect. Psych. No, I'm <laughs> correct. That's correct. <laughs> You're down to one dollar. That was oh, a bad a wager. <laughs> oh damn it. That was Apollo. Right. He's an early Ghostbuster. The answer was former friend and advocate of spiritualism, who Dini. <laughs> You really typed Houdini, huh? Houdini. W H O space Dini. Mm -hmm. How about that? And it's clever, but it is unfortunately very incorrect. You wagered sixty nine dollars. Sixty nine. Okay. Okay. And Ryan, an early Ghostbuster, Houdini fell out with this detective novelist, a you former can really friend just and read advocate the of response. spiritualism. You know, the question doesn't change. I am in charge. Is that not correct? <laughs> End Who is show. Agatha Christie? Hi, Mom. Go Canuck. <laughs> that is incorrect. The answer is Arthur Conan uh. Doyle. Oh, Doyle rules. And the winner is me. Oh, my God. It the it scared the shit out of, out of me. me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I may have pissed my pants. It sounded like you broke like a bunch of glass. It was like Stone Cold's uh, <laughs> Stone Cold's entrance music. Jesus fucking Christ! I win the first round and the second. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Why don't we take some time to promote our work on this fine website? Why don't we start with you, Apollo? Uh, TV slash Dumb Dog. We're doing Unity tomorrow. We're playing Fall Guys, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna be fun, and then we're probably gonna play Fall Guys after it. And by we, I mean me and other people. So it's gonna be all Fall Guys tomorrow. Also, did you guys see that Call of Duty update coming out? Season the five. day after you, you can mean? go in. Stadium, stadium roof is off. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. How about you, Melf? Uh, Twitch.tv says Michael Fox, and Twitter and YouTube and all that good social goodness. Um. You know, we got the ooblets on the YouTubes doing the track of the day, track mania, all that stuff. And uh, streaming tomorrow, 10 a.m. EST, before uh, Unity starts and during Unity. Be there, please. Thanks. And Joshua? I have to pee so bad. Me too, dude. Me too. Me too. I'm good. I'm good. And 